wow, 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 wow. Wow. Hello, 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 fish. What do you mean, fish? Fish? Fish music? Fish? I don't know what you mean, fish? 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 I'm sorry I'm late. I. The fucking. Everything is going wrong today in this entire day. I don't know what's going on today. It's not going well. It's going bad today. Today. It's not a good day. <laughs> But hopefully, hopefully we'll make it into a good day. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I discovered my iPhone was not charged. I've had a tummy ache for like since yesterday. And um, my fucking internet died also. And I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, basically. Everything is going wrong. And I also realized that I don't have... A charging cable for my iPhone, uh, not my iPhone, sorry, my uh, like webcam thing. Like it's, I use my uh, one of my phones as a webcam in my kitchen, and I cannot find the fucking cable that I usually that I usually use for this phone. Like I cannot find the cable that's like long enough, and I don't know where it fucking is, man. I looked everywhere. <laughs> I must have put it some somewhere weird, I think. Like maybe I put it into one of my handbags when I was like seeing one of my friends and then it's like in one of my like four bags, you know? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. But it's fine. Uh, we'll make do. We'll, we'll cook as, as they say. Yeah. And I don't know why I have a tummy ache. A tummy ache, man. I think maybe something I ate yesterday was not that, you know, safe. Safe, ma. I think something, something sus yesterday. Because uh, tummy hurt. Yeah, tummy hurt. Mm, also, uh, yesterday, uh, I went to my friend's place and... I'm never trusting other Swedish women to make onigiri ever again because they don't know how to make it. They don't know, like, guys, I, I, I love my friend, but oh my god, they don't know how to do it, man. I, I don't know, like, it was, a, yeah, it was, a, it was truly a white woman moment. I, I, I don't know, like. I expected that my friend had done some research. I was like, no, no, I mean, it will be fine. You know, it will be fine. I can, I can trust her, you know. So I didn't really bring any of my things from home. You know, I have, I have Japanese rice. I have onigiri molds. I have, um, furikake. Uh, you know, I have, I have stuff. You know, at home, but I didn't bring it because I was like, "Nah, she'll cook." You know, she she'll figure it out. You know, uh, she didn't, in fact, figure it out because she used. D get this, guys. When I came to her house, she pulled out her rice and she's like, "We can use this rice. We can we can use this rice, right?" And it was fucking Thai sticky rice. It was Thai sticky rice, and I was like, "I mean, no." We can't really use this. Like, this is the wrong kind of rice for onigiri. Like, you know, it's not the kind of right rice, you know, it's not. So it ended up being more like mochi, I guess, like a rice dough, you know? Uh, and I only, I don't know, it was not a good moment, guys. It was not, it was... <laughs> It was not a moment, yeah. Um, and I felt so awkward because I wanted to be nice, but I also wanted to tell the other girls that like this is not what onigiri is supposed to be like. But how do I politely tell them that they have severely fucked up while still being polite? Uh, I don't know. I feel like in my in my autism, I decided to say nothing and just smile, and because I didn't want to be rude. You know, sweetie, you fucked up. Yeah, sweetie, honey, 
you have committed a lapse in judgment. Uh, but I said to her, like, is this rude of me? But I said, like, next time I can bring my stuff and I'll teach you. And also, uh, then she tried to make mochi and also almost taste caused a microwave fire, you know? Um, she almost caused a microwave fire and the plastic started burning <laughs> in the microwave. And because she wanted to make mochi and she <laughs> she had never made mochi before and, and and the recipe said to like use plastic cling wrap above the bowl and then the cling wrap caught on fire <laughs> and so I started melting yeah and and then when we took the <laughs> And then we took the mochi out and it was just like a ball, like a fucking, it was just this, this like, yeah, and, and it was green because she used like green food coloring, but there was also some bits of yellow food coloring, but it hadn't like melted, like it wasn't like integrated. So they were like, it was like green and then spots, <laughs> spots of yellow in the rice. <laughs> No, yeah, and eventually I I told her like we can't use this because, because like it's too firm to make mochi with like it's overcooked. It's overcooked. Yeah, it's overcooked. So I was like, we have to throw this away, sister, my sister, like bruh, sweetie, we have to throw this away. And then I decided that I should do the mochi because I can't trust these women to do it. You know. I can't trust this wom these women to do anything, apparently. I can't touch trust them to do onigiri. I can't touch... I can't trust them to do mochi, you know. So I decided to make the mochi. And when I did it, it went fine. I We made mochi and it turned out good, you know. Uh, yes. When I when I took the control, as, as they say, you know, then it was fine. Yes. Everything was fine. Except that I suck at shaping the balls, because I'm very like... How do I say this? Mm, I think I'm too like... I, I I don't have like any... I'm not very soft with my hands. I'm, I'm just like, crush, crush. You know, like I'm too kind of strong in my hands sometimes, I guess. So like when I was making the mochi balls, I like broke everything. So I, I decided to let the other wamens the other wamens do the shaping of the balls. Th they did the ball touching. I did not do any ball touching. Mm -hmm. So I made the dough, but the other girls did the shaping, you know. You have no experience? No, I, I do not have any experience um, touching balls. I, I mean, I, mean I, did, I did make mochi once before, you know. One, one time, one time I made. I touched the ball, mochi ball, you know? So it was pretty good, I think. Yeah, but I'm not very good at shaping mochi. I'm not, you know? Uh, don't you hate it when your autism gives you anxiety, but then it turns out to be completely... Yeah, you know, I... I, 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 I feel like I often see myself as a girl failure, you know? I often see myself as a girl failure, but then I hang out with other girls and I'm like, maybe I'm not that bad, you know, maybe I'm not a disaster after all, you know, and especially, I don't know if you guys have had this experience, but have you been into apartments where there's girls who are roommates with other girls? Have you seen how they live? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This Enough said. Enough said. Okay. Yes. No. No. Okay. Well, it's an experience. It's it's an experience. They're trying their best, though. You know, you gotta give it, get it, give it to them. You gotta give, yeah, you gotta give it to them. I have enough experience. Oh, yes. They're trying. They're trying. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the head, Patma. And thank you so much, MS, for the whole year. Thank you so much. Wow, yeah. Thank you for the whole year. Thank you, thank you. Shwumpa, shwumpa. Thank you, thank you. But just anyway, yesterday was very intense for me. Uh, you know, almost one kitchen fire, one failed onigiri cooking session. Um, and then I played board games. And um, I had to explain what VTubing was to these girls. So it was my, my best friend, right? And then suddenly other women started appearing. Uh, I I didn't know that there would be a uh, other whamans, you know, but they started spawning kind of, and then suddenly we were like a whole squad, you know. Uh, it was interesting, and and like we turned on my friend's TV and we were watching like YouTube, and she got like VTubers recommended on her feed, but she doesn't watch anime. She doesn't watch anime, so it was super weird. Like, basically, her YouTube algorithm started recommending VTubers for no reason. And then I started explaining, like, what a VTuber is. And then I, like, talked about VTubing. And they were, like, so amazed, you know, uh, at the whole concept, you know. So that was quite interesting, I think. Uh, explaining VTubers to, like normal girls that have like normal jobs and they don't watch anime they don't they barely know to, like when i talk to them about streaming all they like talked about their only like reference was like oh yeah i've seen on on like tv that like some streamers get paid to promote gambling have you ever done that isn't that a bit immoral and i'm like no i've never promoted gambling because that's illegal in sweden fun fact it's illegal you know, and uh, and they were like, oh, okay, <laughs> and I was like, what? Is this their only reference to like streaming? Uh, and they're like, oh, isn't it mostly men, men who play games and say slurs? And I'm like, N I mean, maybe not anymore. You know, M now it's more women, and I'm like, I have to have this entire conversation with them. You know, explain what is streaming yeah you know bridge oh my <laughs> no yeah but but it was it was so like hard to explain you know yeah no they knew video games but okay so like you have to imagine oh my god this okay I imagine imagine to for them for these women right Talking to normal women is so weird, guys. Because, like, when I mention video games, all they talk about is how, like, oh, yeah, I had a an, an ex-boyfriend, right? And he, all he did was play video games. And he would never, like, come to the dinner table when it was dinner. I, I hate men who play video games. I hate video games. I don't like video games. Like, that is their only, like, reference. That, that they don't like video games because, like... They, I don't know. They, I don't know. They, they, they kept saying things like that, so I can't, I can't talk about video games with this woman, right? I cannot, I cannot. One of them knew what Starfield was, you know. One of them, they knew Starfield and like Skyrim, but they don't play video games, and they, they don't even have like gaming PCs. They don't even have a Nintendo Switch, you know. And it's so difficult for me to, like, talk about my job, you know, when I'm trying to explain these things, you know? It's so weird to me. I don't know. Gamers aren't representing them well. No. Uh, they probably have iPads. No, I don't think any of... I think they have, like, laptops. But they, they only watch, like, YouTube videos. They don't do any gamings, you know? No gamings. Yeah, no gamings. Yeah. Did they post on Instagram? No, not really. Not really. I don't think Instagram is that popular anymore. But yeah, it was so interesting to talk to people who like don't understand video games and then be like, my, my job is playing video games. You know? 
It was so interesting. Man, I sound like such a neat right now. I sound... <laughs> I'm like such a need right now. Like, hey guys, I went outside and I talked to normal women, and it's crazy. It's literally what I sound like right now. You know? <laughs> it's literally, it's me right now. No, but it's so weird, guys. It's so weird. It's such an interesting experience to me. Yeah. Because, like, in their world, I guess, you cannot play video games casually, it seems. I don't know. Hmm. Fox roll. Fox roll! I'm a video game tester. Yeah, video game tester. Hmm. You had to explain cosplay? Cosplay is more... simpler to explain. Because I think everyone can understand the concept of Halloween, right? And dressing up. So it's not that weird, I think. Like, it's... The starting point is easier. You know? Mmm. I don't know. Board games, but on a computer? I suppose, yeah. We did actually end up playing board games. It was fun. You know? Really fancy, expensive board game. Like, yeah, I played a $70 board game. You know, expensive board game. Baldur's Gate, ma? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It was so interesting to me. Mm. I feel like I've learned a lot about women yesterday. Mm hmm. But I also feel like I've gotten better at talking to people ever since I became a streamer. Because I just asked them leading question, and then they talk themselves. If women like this, guys. You just get women talking about herself, they like it. It's like a super easy thing. If you don't know what to talk about, just get a person to talk about themselves. You know? It works. Yes. It works every time. And then you just need to sit there and 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 listen and and uh, yeah, you will learn something new. Probably. I learned a lot of things. Yeah. I learned many things. Ohio? What? What about Ohio? Ask one follow-up question. Yes. Listening to other people's passion is awesome. Yes, it's very fun. I've always, I always like to listen about other people's hobbies. I think it's very, uh, very fun. I like it. People are so cute when they talk about their passions. You know, people get this kind of sparkle in their eye, and we get really excited. And you can always learn something new. I like it a lot. It's comfy. Makes me happy. Yes. But, you know, one of the girls was Polish, Swedish, and she didn't even know the Kurva, like, Kurva Bobber meme. So I spent, like, at least 30% of the night explaining the Kurva Bobber meme and showing her different, like, Polish animal memes on my phone. You know? I showed the, the penguin, penguin, and the skunks video. <laughs> yeah. Polish love critters and swearing. It seems so. It seems so. Yeah, but it's very interesting. I remember talking to Luma about cyberpunk at J pop club. Oh, yes, she loves cyberpunk. Or um, Lumi also loves cosplay. Lumi knows so much about cosplay. She's an expert, you know? Expert, ma. Mm -mm. You made my day seeing Kurva Bobbin. <laughs> really? Wow, wow. What else can I say in Polish? Uh, sin dobre. Sin dobre. Wow. Yeah. Smoke shows up like a roadrunner. Smoke just spawns everywhere. Yeah. Finnish shape sister. Oh. 
yeah, Lumi is very pretty. Both, both her uh, flesh model and her VTuber model. Uh, very beautiful. I simp. I kiss. Passionately. I mean, what? Any bobbers? We need a bobber VTuber. Is there any beaver VTuber? I mean, that's kind of cursed, though. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's nice. I don't know. Beaver? Beaver, ma? Like, would the beaver VTuber have huge teeth? Huge teeth. A Polish bobber VTuber. I think it needs to happen. We need a bobber VTuber. I feel like today's stream start was so chaotic. I just ended up talking about like four Swedish women trying to make onigiri with the wrong kind of rice and how I saved, I saved her microwave from combusting. <laughs> <laughs> it could have ended horribly, guys. She's lucky I was standing in front of the microwave. Because I felt the plastic, like, s fucking smelling weird, ma. And I opened that shit, and it was literally smoking. Onigiri, the VTuber? No, the food. Congrats, you have saved one kitchen fire to compensate for two other kitchen... No, okay, so it gets worse. Uh... Okay, guys, I don't mean to make your asshole clench, um, but prepare yourself. Last week, I woke up in the morning and I realized I forgot to turn off my stovetop. So that means I was my stovetop was on the entire night for like nine hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I have a fire alarm though, guys. I have a I have a fire alarm. I have a fire alarm. What kind of stovetop is it? Like an electric one? Yeah, but it was on level 5. Like, my max on my stove is 9, I think. It goes up to 9. So, I think I made, like, noodles in the night, and then I forgot to turn it off. Uh... And yeah, I guess I just forgot. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level f Yeah, I was at level 5. My the max is 9. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why 9 is max. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, I guess in terms of kitchen fire, we're up to 3 now. Uh, free Yeah, free incidents now. Uh, I think the most severe one was when I had plastic on my stove though, and my dad had to save me. Yeah, I think that one was very dangerous. Funnily enough, my best friend was also there when that happened. And I'm pretty sure that one of us accidentally turned on the stove with our ass. When we walked past it. Because we were like pulling things out of the like cupboards because I was moving, right? And my best friend, she was helping me, right? And I think one of us like leaned over the stove and like maybe like pu pushed one of the buttons with our with our ass or with our hips you know and then my dad noticed and you know if my dad hadn't turned the stove off we, we could have looked at an actual fire unironically so thank you dad hilde for saving the building i appreciate you very much yes my dad has saved me many times mm -mm -mm. little dumpy yeah little dumpy I still don't know how we accidentally turned it on, though. I think we just, like, leaned somehow? I don't know. But yes. I'm happy that Hilda saved me. Mm-hmm. Little Dumpma? Yeah, Little Dumpma! But yeah, I'm never trusting this woman to make Asian food ever again. No. No. Dumpma? Okay, yes. Anyway, today we're gonna make kimchi. Hopefully, I'll not be a fail wife today. Uh, and there is no heat involved, so we will not um, cause any fires. I think. Because there is no heat involved today. You know, yeah. You don't like mac microplastics in your food? 
I want a plastic max. I'm plastic maxing. I want as much plastics as possible. You know, I think that will raise my uh, power level. Hey chat, are we weird for watching Swedish Edelwyn Girl Frailer talk about kitchen fires? No, I think chat's having a wonderful time. Or I hope so, at least. I hope so. And I hope you will all enjoy watching me uh, make kimchi in a while. Consume plastic. Yeah, plastic maxing. Got a plastic max, bro. Yeah, I don't know. But for once, it wasn't me causing an accident. No. And it was not my kitchen. Mm -mm. A few macroplastics to give you that chemically never aged look. Oh. Nice. Yes. Maybe it will make me look younger. Younger, ma. Mm. Also. Uh, did you guys watch Frederick's tournament yesterday? Did you guys have fun? I watched a little bit uh, on the way home on the train. Uh, it was quite comfy, I think. Mm. I'm very proud, proud of Fredma. Very proud of Fredma. I think he did a good job. And then Mary is having his subathon. And earlier this morning, I was on his stream and he was smashing passing male VTubers and talking about which ones he would like to have gay sex with. And I had not had my tea yet. You know, I had not yet had my my tea. So I've I closed the stream because it was like this is too early for me. You know, this is too I need my tea first. And then maybe I can watch Mary talk about gay sex afterwards. You know. Yeah. I don't know. It feels weird to see my brother talk about such things. I would rather not, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I was so shocked because usually Mary doesn't talk about these kinds of things at all. And then I was in a stream and he was like straight up saying like, I want this man to take me from behind and, you know, ravage me. And I was like, huh? Huh? And he seemed to have a preference for big daddies, like big bear men, like bears, basically, like big. He, he seemed to enjoy masculine men, like really big boys, you know. Uh, he did not seem to like twinks. Uh, he only likes the big and yeah, and he seems to have a preference for big monsters. Yeah, big monsters. Uh... It seems indeed that somehow, by a weird kind of turn of fate, indeed it seems that Mary has weirder taste in men than I do. So I'm not sure how to cope with this information anymore, you know? The kind of guy they call fridges. Wait, what? There's a, like, you call... Wait, I know exactly what you mean by fridges. I know exactly what you mean. Fridge-shaped men? That's kind of based, actually. I have to... I have to... Where do I subscribe to this? Yeah, built like a... I, I, I enjoy a fridge, man. I think that's based. Yeah, I think so. I agree with Mary on this. Yeah. Yeah, Otto, you've told me that uh, you got hit on so much by gay men. I I honestly, Otto, I can see why. Because you are... You are so... You are so... I'm just gonna say, like, if Otto was gay, the amount of D who could get... Insane. Insane. Crazy. Yeah. But sadly, Otto is straight. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was crazy to see Mary talk about that. And I, I was convinced that Mary's like innocent, you know? I thought my brother was an innocent man, you know, that he's so soft and oh little, you know. I almost, I always imagine he needs like a strong woman to take care of himself because 
Mary can't even cook rice, you know, properly. He can make a good hamburger, though. He can make a nice burger, you know. And I'm pretty sure he would be able to, like, marinate and grill meat pretty well as well, you know. But I don't know. I wouldn't trust him to make kind of mm, anything with a lot of steps, you know. Yeah, he needs a himbo, I think. Mm. Anyway, I'm I'm surprised today. I am very surprised today at this information, and I feel like I need to repress it so I will forget it because I don't know if I want to know these things about Mary. I feel emotionally and mentally wounded, you know, because I had this I I idea that Mary is very pure in my mind but now it seems that he just keeps the snoo skin inside of him you know meanwhile me and and nick we don't keep the snoo skin inside we keep it outside you know like i feel like all of chat knows exactly what i like because i can't shut up i keep yapping so much you know i'm very obvious i'm a, I'm, I'm an obvious woman you know yeah, I'm a very obvious woman. Yeah, bottling it up until it explodes. Mm. That's kind of sexy though, you know. Like that, that like... <laughs> like if I, I don't know, like... If, if, I, if a girl, like, just keeps it bottled up and then it's like unleashed all at once. You know, I, I think that's kind of, kind of nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you cannot hold in the snusk anymore, you know? Mm, I think that's kind of exciting, for sure. You're exactly what nerds want. <laughs> the directness? Are you sure? I don't know. I don't know about that. The autism race? What does autism race mean? I don't understand. What does autism race mean? Can you guys explain? I literally don't understand. Like, when you say autism race, do you mean the directness? Like, the, the, like, the bluntness? No filter. <laughs> really? It's nice? Is it not weird? Almost all of my nerd friends are together with nurses. That has to be a kink. There's no way. No way. No, no, no. Oh my god. <gasps> Oddler, they're the kind of thing. They're the kind of person to call their partner mommy in bed. They're all of your friends are bottoms. Your friends are bottoms. Absolutely not. What do you mean? I'm, I I know I, I can smell this. What do you mean? You're sell, you're telling me they're dating nurses. They, they have to be bottoms. There's yeah I think so. They want a strong mommy to take care of them. That's what they want. Yeah. Woman hinting. I don't understand that either, guys. I've I, like I said. I'm pretty sure I've missed out on. Meeting many girls in my life because I am stupid. I'm stupid. Very stupid. You see? I only once understood a girl was hitting on me because she actually directly to my face asked if I wanted to make out. And it shocked me so much that I ran away and hid. I hid in a corner. Because it freaks me out so much. I had a panic attack almost. No, it was shocking. It was shocking to me. I was like, what? How old were you? I was... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, I was like... Uh, maybe 20, I think. Mm. We do not understand hints. That's why we like people who are direct. Oh. Oh my God, Audley, that is so gross. I if that if that happened to me, I no 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 no. I could not deal with such public displays of affection. 
like guys i might be a snoozler but like yesterday for example i was i was taking the train home and then i saw a couple waiting for the train and they were like making out on the platform and like you know touching and i was like no don't do that like it freaked me out i i was like don't do that like i can't deal with it i i, I think i i don't wanna i don't wanna see i don't want <laughs> i don't wanna see this display of sin of snusk you know i don't i want to see it. <laughs> i can't deal with this I, it's too much for me a jelly no i'm not jealous uh what do you mean oh she was asking you she, she was inviting you oh my god Agamor, they wanted to kiss you she wanted to kiss you oh my god no oh did you realize when did you realize when did you realize that the girl was flirting with you how long did it take Meow, meow, meow. Thank you so much for the nine months. Kimchi factory. Oh, well, we won't be making that much kimchi, but we will be making kimchi ma. Kimchi ma. Hmm. Yeah, kimchi, kimchi. Shumpa, shumpa. Mm -hmm. We talk first, though, apparently about racing. Yeah, no, no, guys, I can't either. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know. I'm a big stupid. Haruka is a fellow autistic whistler. Literally the first thing she said when someone admitted having a crush on her was you don't count. What? You don't count? What what did she mean by that? If a girl said that to me, I would have a mental breakdown and become a hikikomori. I'd never want to talk to a woman ever again. The amount of mental damage it would cause to me would be unreal, even. I No, I don't think I could recover from <laughs> such a reply. <laughs> oh my god, Nutscope, that's kind of weird, but... Okay, yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe she was just kind of a... Like a person who likes closeness? Who, who's like close with people? I don't know. Uh, this sounds kind of weird. I don't know. Oh my god. Poor Haruka. Poor Haruka. Oh. Poor, poor Haruka. Jesus. Autistic race. Yeah. Apparently I have autistic race. <laughs> apparently. Women are constantly hugging each other in the changing room. No. I don't think so. I've never seen women hug in the changing room. But once... I think I've told this story, but once I went to a club that had two toilets next to each other in the same bathroom... And my, me and my best friend, we peed together and held hands. <laughs> I think I've told... <laughs> I think I've told this story before. <laughs> yeah, I think we did it because it was... <laughs> I think I, we were drunk and we thought it was hilarious. We thought it was really funny. But wouldn't you have done the same? Come on, if you were drunk with a homie, wouldn't you wouldn't you have done the same for the experience? For for fun, for the meme? You know? <laughs> wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Absolutely. See? It's not that weird. See, it's cool. Yeah. Exactly. If I did it with the boys, it would be a competition. Like, oh, who can piss fast? Fastest? Drunk homies be like, yeah. 
I heard women who got drunk have sex because they thought it was funny and they were straight. I don't think those women were straight. I think having sex with another woman, if you're a woman, I think that's gay. I think that's pretty gay. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds kind of homosexual. <laughs> it sounds pretty gay, man. What even is this stream? No, no, like, like, no person, like, the toilets were ne next to each other. It was some kind of cursed bathroom that had two toilets in the same room. Next to each other. I've never seen this before. It was so weird. And when we saw it, we just had to do it, man. I've never seen this before. It was so weird. Yeah, the same, not stall. It was a in in room, a, like a room. Mm. Woman bathrooms. <laughs> no, I've never seen this in another bathroom, guys. I literally never. I've only seen this once, and also, I guess historically, at least in Sweden, and probably in other countries, uh, this is gonna be so cursed. I guess prepare yourself, but like in the past, uh. Like, outdoor toilets in Sweden used to have seats next to each other. Like, more than one seat. Like, in a row. So, yeah. It used to be, like, yeah. 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 I don't know. Can we change the subject now? I've given you guys a history lesson now. I think, I think we've reached a peak. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we've had enough. You know, I feel like the spirit of Mike has visited the stream long enough. You know, I think I can feel his presence, yeah, his his soul. You know, the Romans. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I know it's crazy, guys. Anyway, I would rather talk about kitchen fires, to be honest. I would rather talk about kitchen fires. For sure. We miss Mike. He's, no, I don't think his in real life streams, streams are hinged. I don't think so. I think the Prague stream he did, like the one I watched, was it uh, three days ago? Two days ago? He got really drunk and I couldn't hold the camera straight. And it he shook the camera so much that it made me motion sick. Did you watch yesterday's stream? No, I uh, I was at my my friend's house, uh, saving her kitchen from fucking blowing up. You know, but it makes me want to do more in real life, like in real life content. You know, I want to make. I also want to do it. And now when it's getting warmer, I want to try. But it's I, I don't know. I need to get over my like social awkwardness. I guess. And just like do it, kind of. But it won't be as fancy as Mike's setup because, like, a streaming backpack is quite expensive. Uh, so it would be more like like my iPhone, you know, my iPhone moment. But I know a lot of big streamers have streamed on their iPhone, and it's been fine. So I'll probably also be fine. I think, you know. Yeah. When I say like in real life stuff, I don't mean like cooking like we're gonna do today today because I guess that's technically like in real life stuff. I mean more like walking around Stockholm and looking at shit, you know, looking at things, you know. I wanna do it. Like I wanna see if the tank museum could survive. Like if the connection could survive. Alfie hiking stream? Yeah, we could do that too. Um we could do hiking stream mom. Yeah, I want to go to museum. Uh, biking? Oh no, no. A biking? I don't know. Cause like I'm not good at biking. I, I have a bike, but I'm not particularly. I'm not particularly good at it, you know. 
I'm not particularly good at it. Alfie fishing stream. We could do that. Fishma. You think so? Nude scoop. I think the only thing is the audio quality is not very good, especially if it's windy. But perhaps you could somehow have an external microphone. Mm, I'm gonna look into it. I don't know. Also scared of people using TTS and saying like something weird probably that that would be scary if it takes shot to mcdonald's no we would get to we, uh, mcdonald's who do you think i am I'm, i would go to max hamburgers M only max hamburgers guys come on we can't go to mcdonald's it's bad max hamburger is superior in every single way they even have better cheese sauce their their cheese sauce is so good as a Swede, I don't like Max. You know, I can ban you if I want. I could time you out. <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, you have one chance. You have one... I'm just kidding. I won't ban you, but I do want to hear your opinion. Okay. I'm hovering over the timeout button. Timeout. 15 minutes... I don't like burgers. I like nuggets. And Max nuggets aren't that good. But Max fries are legendary. Okay, so in your opinion, which burger chain in Sweden has the best nuggets? Also, Swedish people, can we all agree on something? This is a very important thing. Can we all agree that Bastard Burgers used to be good and now it's not good anymore? It's like mid. That their quality control went down the fucking sewer. Can we all agree that they expanded way too fast and then it just bing bong, blah, you know? What is a bastard burger? So bastard burger is a burger chain and uh, well, it's like, it's the burger chain and their burgers used to be pretty good, um, but they expanded way, way, way too quickly and now they're like everywhere and their quality and control is not very good. Mm, and also it's expensive. It's like... If you want a drink there and a burger is probably gonna be like... I don't know, like $23? It's really expensive, you know? It's really expensive, ma. Mm. They aren't fast food anymore. You wait 20 minutes? That's way too long. No. There's so many burger. Yeah, I feel like there's so many hipster burger chains nowadays. Like, burger chains with, like, Ipa beer and the dudes who work there have long beards. And they're like, my burger's the best burger. Wow. You know? You guys know exactly what I mean. It's like, there's so many chains like that in Sweden. I mean, it's probably the same in other countries. Maybe it's like worldwide issue. I don't know. But it's like, my burger is the best burger. And I'm like, oh my. Uh, I feel like I need to have another burger in America though. The only burger I had in America was extremely mid extremely mid uh i was not impressed it was so mid but to my defense to the defense of america i only had a burger once in america so i need to expand my sample size um of burger yes uh, I think the only problem is that I probably cannot eat a beef burger in America because it would possibly kill me, like actually, like potentially send me to the hospital. Uh, so basically, I can only eat chicken burgers in the US or a vegan one, probably. Yes, because when I ate five guys in Germany, I got a stomach ache for two days straight and severe chest pain. So that was not fun. I would rate the experience... 3 out of 10. But the burger was very good. It, the burger was like a a 7 in flavor. I'd say it was a 7. Yeah. 
Big Burger. Ja. Snuskburger. Snuskburger. What would you put on a snuskburger? Like, what is the toppings of a snuskburger? Thank you so much, Mishi, for the three months. Thank you very much. I don't want to answer. You have to answer. Edelost. Homemade mayo? I don't know. Homemade mayo sounds fancy. Snusk sauce. What is a snusk sauce? Ranch. I think ranch is pretty snusk, actually. Snusk burger. Maybe we should make our own snusk burger on stream. We make our own homemade snusk burgers. Snusk. We can make snusk burger. Bastard Burgers monthly burger. Last month was a donut burger with chilies on it. That's pretty snusk. Yeah, that's indeed pretty snusk. Mm. I don't know. Snusk burger is a donut burger since home. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty snusk. Snusk burgers with booth cheese and ba uh, You're bringing back memories I want to repress. Why would you do this to me? Hello, Phantom. Welcome. Every day we stray further from... From being normal. Long time no see. How are you? I'm okay. I was... I mean, I was okay until chat mentioned the blue cheese banana combo. And now I don't feel that good anymore. <laughs> I don't feel like good anymore. Nuskeberger. Hmm. You should you should open a restaurant outfit called Snuskers. Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Mr. Beast made some good Snusk. <laughs> Mr. Beast Snuskeberger. Oh my God. I had like a like a bad dream. Um, I had a dream that I was I I arrived to LAX airport and I was stuck in customs queue and missed my connecting flight. And I hope it's not a like a future vision. I hope it's just a bad dream. <laughs> when I woke up, I was like, no, no, and no. I I I hope it's not an omen. <laughs> I hope it's not an omen. I don't want this. Just never leave the country. This is Nusk Omen. LAX is the afterlife. <laughs> Dude, I feel... No, that's the worst. I feel like... No, 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 no. That's the... That's so scary. Don't say that. Don't say that. LAX is so bad. It's literally like... I don't know. A nightmare airport. It's the worst airport I've ever been to in my entire life. <laughs> okay, it depends on the terminal. I will say, it depends on the terminal. But the American Airlines terminal was so weird and dirty and it was like a liminal space. Like the lights were flickering, you know. If I saw a dead rat in the corner, I wouldn't even be surprised at that point. I, w I would be like, yeah, that seems about right, you know? Seems about... It's so real, so true. Mm. But the Southwest Terminal was very clean, and... Um, I liked it. I don't really have any complaints. And the woman in the security... Um, screening complimented my nails. You know? She was nice to me, so yeah, that was nice. I, I rate the Southwest Terminal, uh, uh, I think, a solid uh, 9 out of 10. You know. Yes. Have you ever had a burger stolen in your dream? No. I don't think so. I think that would upset me severely. You know. That's weird. That's weird, ma. I 
I'm scared to make kimchi today. What if I, this is a massive girl failure? You know? My mother was late to work because of Mr. Beast. <laughs> it's funny. Then girl fail with confidence. What does that even mean? Girl fail with confidence? Huh? You'll be fine. Just don't take any suggestions from... I, I mean, we're going to follow our recipe, guys. And also, I should add that today we're making... Uh, I think we will only be making radish kimchi today. Because making radish, radish kimchi is a lot easier than normal cabbage kimchi. And also, I prefer radish kimchi. Because I, it's crunchy and I like it a lot, actually. Oh my, what if Alfie isn't cut up for domestic life? It will be... F Listen, I think I'm cut, cut out more for domestic life than the average woman VTuber. I think so. Which doesn't really... Really say much. I think that's a bad baseline. It's a, ba it's a bad starting point. It's a, ba it's a bad starting point. It's a low bar. It is. It is a really low bar. Considering your experience with your normie friends? I'm trying to think of like if I have a female friend who can cook well. Let me think. No. Oh yeah, Peggy. I think Peggy's the only... Yeah, Peggy. Peggy's the only one. <laughs> Peggy's the only one. <laughs> Peggy's the only one. Yeah. I think most of my friends who can cook well are men. I don't know. Yeah, I think, like, yeah. My male friends can cook well. Most of them, I think. Lumi's cooking streams have been down right... Lumi can cook, but... Actually, I've never seen Lumi cook. I've just seen her bake. It's not the same thing. Baking and cooking are two different things. Someone can be excellent at baking and shit at cook cooking. It's not the same thing. Guys. Glad cooking is being seen as a skill for all people rather than just women. Cooking is absolutely 100% a skill. And it's a skill you can, you know, get better at. You know, I, I've never understood kind of the mindset that like, Oh, I'm shit at cooking. And I am, like, that people who make that their whole personality, like, oh, I'm shit at cooking. And then they don't make an effort to get better. They just kind of accept that they suck, you know? You don't need to suck. You can, you can look at YouTube videos and learn. I used to suck at cooking. I used to be terrible at cooking. But I've, I've spent a lot of time trying to get better. And I'm still trying to get better, you know? Anyone can learn. My dad used to be terrible at cooking. In fact, once, when I was a kid, uh, my dad made me and my brother a meal that was so bad that, that we cried. Me and my brother, we cried at my dad's cooking. I was actually sobbing at the dinner table. It was traumatic. And then my dad decided that he would go to cooking class. You know, that Hilda decided, I need to go to cooking class and learn how to cook for my children. So he did. And now my dad is like a master chef. He's so good at cooking. You know, that Hilde is slayed, as they say. He's so good at cooking. Yeah. Based on yeah, based? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm very proud of my dad. 100 percent But he doesn't cook normal like Swedish food. And so he went to Thai cooking class. He went to a Thai lady who held cooking classes. So my dad can basically only cook Thai food. <laughs> my dad can basically only cook Thai food. <laughs> 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 
yeah, why do you why do you guys think my spice tolerance is good? It's because of this. I didn't gr grow up at home eating Swedish food. I grew up eating Thai food that my dad cooked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really grow up eating like macaroni and meatballs. Like we had Thai curry and uh, uh, a lot of curries, a lot of soups uh, and that kind of thing. Mm. That's hilarious. It's funny. Really? This is fun. <laughs> How spicy is the kimchi gonna be? I don't know. I want to make it kind of spicy. I tried my friend's kimchi yesterday, but it wasn't that spicy. Uh, and I want to make it way spicier than that, so... Tom yum soup? Oh god, that's so good. Mmm... Spice yuck. Oh yeah, you you I remember you. You were the person that said that pepper was spicy. I remember you. The memories are coming back to me now. Yes, I remember. Peanut sauce. Mmm, peanut sauce. Euro taste bud guy. Yeah, but hopefully this explains a lot now when I've un un unveiled this Dad Hill the lore. On a scale from 1 to 10 on the snusk meter, how snusk are Swedish girls on Spanish beaches? I don't know. I have like not really been to a Spanish beach in a very long time, so I don't know. I taste pepper in my mother's mashed potatoes. That's fucking weird. Yeah, all this specific. I feel like this is some weird of some weird like fantasy this chat member has. Like, they wanna, like, this chat member, specifically, daydreams about, like, Swedish girls getting tanned on a beach. And he's like, I wish that, I wish I could see this. Like, th th this is a very specific kind of daydream, I feel like. That's hot. Pretty big. <laughs> well, of course you guys would think that. Bro has a type. Yeah. I have a great story about meeting Swedish girls in Mexico as a teenager, but I can't tell it on stream. Smiley face. I remember you telling me this, Trev. Very cool. So like the Wonder Bread guy? Well, this is not as weird as the Wonder Bread guy. I feel like this is a quite normal scenario to day daydream about. No? I just woke up, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have great stories of running from women since they are scary. Understandable. I've seen how Swedish men... <laughs> yeah, like a, like a crayfish. Redma. Yeah. Oh god, I remember... Uh, god, I, I just got like memory images so once uh, we went to egypt with my family on vacation you know i went with dad hilde no, yeah not dad hilde what what the fuck you know you dad hilde yeah dad hilde yeah i don't know why my brain stopped working yeah i went with dad hilde bro hilde etc you know and uh, i remember seeing the Russian tourists at that hotel, they had, I'm not joking, I, they were not using sunscreen, so the, the sunburn damage they had was insane. Like, literally, you should go to the hospital levels of sunburn. You know, I still remember it. Like, it was like they weren't using sunscreen at all. They were like sun maxing. <laughs> they were sun maxing. Um, yeah, it, it was, I, it, they were like crabs, you know, and only the men looked like that. Um, the women I saw were using sunscreen. Mm. Only the like men. Yeah. Why is everyone going on so many vacations? 
I mean, for me, it's just like, of course, as a kid, um, my dad took me places. I was lucky enough where we could do that. And then as an adult, I like to travel. So I save up for it. And I know not everyone has the means to do that. And, you know, that I'm a very lucky person. Um, and also, like, traveling inside of Europe is kind of cheap. Like, sometimes I've gone to Poland for $20. And that's, like, round trip. I just bring my backpack. You know? So, yeah. Like, traveling inside of Europe is very cheap. Some if you want it to be. If you want it to be cheap, you can. You know? So... I think if you live in Europe, it's easier to travel around because it's cheaper, if that makes sense. But of course, going to e e uh, Egypt is very expensive, but my dad paid for that. You know, I was a child, so... Yeah. Angry North American noises? Yeah. It's expensive, ma. If I travel outside the US, I'm not going back. Oh my god. Traveling to Poland, see Bobber? Yes. Well, I can see Bobber in Sweden if I want. I can see Bobber. Yeah, that's true. You can start traveling within your country. But I will say that I noticed in America, everything is expensive. Like, hotels are way more expensive than in Europe. Per night. It shocked me. I was like, what the fuck? So expensive, man. America is like super expensive, ma. Drain ma. Drain my wallet. Drain ma. I'm lucky that when I go to America, I can just stay at my friend's house and then they feed me and make me big and round. You know? I'm lucky. But if you stay in hotels, probably drain my wallet. Flatten. Mega flattened, I think. Yeah. But if you have like friends you can stay at in America, way cheaper. Yeah. Our money has bobber. Really? Really? Bobber? Yes, coin ma. What coiner has bobber? Really? Five cent has bobber? Really? I didn't know. Nickel. The nickel has bobber. Oh, coin bobber. Some people in my family went to New York and it was so expensive. I can imagine. Yeah, it's very expensive. I don't know. I just try to spend time. I just try to uh, stay with my friends to save money. <laughs> of course, I, I tell them that they can do the same when they come over. Obviously. You know. And I don't just, you know, I, I help out. I clean, do the dishes and, and that kind of stuff. In exchange. Mm. You just live in the walls? Yeah. You just make a fucking hole in the wall and live there, dude. Okay. I think that we should try to move to the kitchen. Possibly. Uh, it's probably gonna take like 10 minutes for me to set up everything. Maybe. I hope it takes 10 minutes and not longer. Because... Uh, Today has been extremely cursed. And it seems like the fucking tech gods are trying to fuck with me. Uh, yeah, the fucking tech gods are flattening me today. Speaking of travel, we're going to travel into my kitchen. Am I right? Oh my god. How do I start this? Like that? There we go. Okay. I'll go BRB now and set everything up in the kitchen. Be right back, guys.
Hello? Oh my god, it's so loud. Uh, do, I, do I sound normal? Do, do I sound like a normal person? Uh, do I sound like a normal person? Okay. This is like a journalist microphone. You know? This is like a journalist microphone. The ones that they use when they're like... Hello, I'm reporting from a parking lot outside Walmart where a panda ate all the cheese or something, you know? It escaped the zoo. Wow. Reporting live. Kind of. Mm. Uh, okay. The Great Cheddar Thief. I do not know what that is. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, this is my kitchen. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm not there yet. I will be there soon. <laughs> Please wait for me. I just need to get you guys out of my phone first. And then I shall emerge. Okay. 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 I think this should be fine. How long is the music thing? Uh, two hours. Okay, that should be fine. Carpet. I don't know why you, why you guys are so obsessed with my carpet. Yeah, it's always like, oh, Alfie, I love your carpet. Every single time I stream in my kitchen, it's like, Alfie, I love your carpet. Alfie, I love your carpet. Okay, does it lag when I do this? Or is it like, smooth? Wow, wow. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's a little laggy. It's fine. Kind of smooth. It's okay. My hand looks normal. You think so? Rate my rate my hand. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the situation. You know. This is the situation. This is um radish there's many radishes here there's four different ones i wonder what the grocery store lady thought i was doing today i i she probably think i'm insane maybe the carpet is rarely seen nowadays that carpet is not even like a hand-me-down or anything like that it's literally i bought it myself like i i bought that carpet for me like that it's not like my great aunt's carpet or anything guys it's literally mine okay anyway so i don't even know if we're gonna use this one because like making a uh, cabbage kimchi takes 500 million years and i don't even i mean i like it uh my cell phone's screen in the shot for obvious reasons i mean i know i know i'll think about it well we do you have a fine taste in carpet? Oh, we think so. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. What can I find a carpet like that? I mean, I don't know. I bought it at a carpet store online. <laughs> yes. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know what you want me to say. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna need to prepare the... The radishes, obviously. Okay, and cut them up and stuff, you know. And I'm probably gonna put some of the ingredients like here behind me because um, it looks Eastern European. Are you calling me a grandma? I mean, I am a bit of a grandma. I can't deny that, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna put this can be here and put the radishes up here to put this. Here. I'll put this here. Okay. Here's my cutting board. Okay, maybe I shouldn't put it upside down. You know? Yeah. Okay. And there's my knife. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Knife, ma. Uh, okay. And I need to peel the, the radish first and then I need a scissor a scissor ma yo 
Okay. It's not on the wall, no. It's not. I almost dropped my phone on the floor. Okay. I'm almost. I've almost died like 15 times so far. Very cool. How do I like read chat and and and? I guess I just put you guys near the sink. I don't think you guys can see the phone now if I put it there, right? I don't think it, it is there. No. Don't think so. Don't think so. Okay. First we're gonna have to, like I said, peel this. Peel ma. Peel ma. Yeah. No, I don't have any rugs on my walls. I have uh, some art of like cats uh, on my walls. And I also have uh, some embroidery on my walls. I don't know if that's a... Is that, oh, okay, that's a pretty grandma thing to have on your wall. I just realized. Embroidery? What is that? It's not cheese. What do you mean? It is cheese. This is cheese. This is a special kind of uh, Swedish cheese called the uh, Rettika. It's very rare. It grows. Uh, it's it's from a Swedish goat in the forest. Uh, you know, this is very rare cheese. Very exclusive. Uh, goat. Uh, it's it's uh, only uh, you know a goat in the forest. Yeah, very cool. Anyway, let's uh, peel them up, bacon, or radish, or whatever as they say, you know. Peel them In before I hurt myself, guys. I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm calling it, wowie. You know, like, I could make, like, something cute on stream. Oh, like, I could make, like, muffins or something. But no, I was like, no, I want to make kimchi, you know, because, well, okay, this is, this was my reasoning. Uh, this was my reasoning. My reasoning was basically, well, I like to make kimchi anyway, so why wouldn't I do it on stream, you know, with you guys, basically. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically. Makes sense. You think so? Makes sense, ma? I don't even know how much you guys can see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see that much, okay. I see. I see. You see the... Yeah, you guys see the cutting board. And my skirt, I think, probably. Okay. But yeah, I'm just peeling these, basically. I'm peeling these. Yeah, feet. Oh my god, feet. You guys see my feet? Well, I'll, I'll be cutting the radish soon, so you guys will actually be able to see my hands and things like that. A tattoo on your, my leg? Uh, yes, I have two tattoos on my leg. Um, two different ones. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I tried, I stood near the onions in the supermarket for a really long time and I tried to take ones that looked like fresh but there weren't any like these were like the best ones I could find so yeah you're right if I went to an Asian market they would have looked much better and I know that like for a fact so yeah you're completely right you're completely right about that um, I'm just gonna sort through the onions and uh, only use the fresh ones, obviously. Um, I'm only gonna shop up the ones that are still okay. Streamer, what socks are you wearing today? 
they were just black. <laughs> They're just black, black socks. I don't know. It's not that interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Stinky? I'm not stinky. I'm not stinky. You're stinky. You're stinky. I'm not stinky. What do you mean? Do you keep track of a chat saying while you're cooking? Yes. But I won't be able to read YouTube chat today. So if you're on YouTube, uh, maybe come over to Twitch because um, I cannot have you on my phone. Basically. Do you change your socks every day? Indeed I do. I know that's crazy, but yes, I do. Indeed. Okay, so... I peeled the radishes. Also, I think I'm gonna put all the like chopped spring onions into a bowl. Probably. Maybe this one. So that we can like keep track of it, I think. What are you making? I'm making kimchi today. Yes. Anyway, let's shop this today. Shop ma, you know? Wow. Shop ma. I'm very bad at using a knife. You will soon discover. Wow. So if you have a cat or a dog? I used to have a dog, but um, she doesn't live here anymore. She was rehomed. But yes, indeed, I used to have a dog. You know? Mm -hmm. How big should the pieces be? I feel like this is okay. I feel like this is... This is fine, probably. I don't think it's okay. Probably. But I can tell you guys that even if I haven't had my dog now... In a while... That I still find hair everywhere. And I pr probably will find hair for years to come, you know? Are you lonely? No, I have uh, rabbits, but you guys can see them right now. They're, I locked them in because um, I don't want them to come into the kitchen while I'm cooking. So I should probably get like a bowl to put all the... Um, put all the... The radish. Oh wait, there is a bowl here. I'm stupid. I guess put all the, the radish in there. You know? It's a bit like miscolored from making kimchi before. There's some chili stuff in there, but that, that's like, it's because it's plastic. <laughs> you have puppy hair in your skirt? Yeah. Like I said, I've, I've, I've even washed this skirt. Um, I have washed this skirt. Uh, several times. Wowie. No escaping the hair, no. Oh, oh. Bum, bum, bum. Then we're shopping all the radish. This radish is kind of, as you guys can see, I don't know if I should use that one because you see, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's like a bit bruised. And I couldn't tell that it was bruised in the grocery store. So I'm like, should I use that one or should I like not use it? It's a bit scrunkled, like a bit scrunkly. I don't know if I should use that one. If it ferments, it's fine. You think so? I don't know. I'm a bit scared to use it. It's a bit scrunkly, you know, but maybe it's fine. Food is food. I don't know. I don't know. Is it really gonna be fine? Is it really gonna be okay? You know? I don't know. Cut, cut the bad part off. It extends back down to here. So that's like more than half, like this. I guess we could just cut it off. I think I'll just do that. 
<laughs> Can we change the category to cooking? Kukma? 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 I think it'll be okay. You think so? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow! Oh, come on. Oh, shit, I forgot to do this thingy. Like, cut it in half first. Like this. Cut too much. Like this. And then, like this. Wow! If you're making a salad, it would be one thing. Yeah, no, I'm making pickles, not salad, you know? And I just realized I might not have any sugar. I hope I have some sugar, otherwise... Problem! Problem! Like, literally, as in, I need to go to the grocery store. <laughs> Probably. Um... If I don't have any sugar. Okay, one of my rabbits, I don't know if you can hear it, but he's trying to escape now. Beep boop. Okay. Your finger positioning is making me nervous. Yeah, it's okay. I. I don't think it's gonna be dangerous, you know, it's fine. I have survived this far in my life, you know. Free my dude, no. No, he can't be, he can't be jumping around the kitchen because I would step on him. And also there's a ca there's cables in the hallway right now. And um, he could uh, eat it. And I've already spent like $25 replacing that cable, so... Yeah. Oh well. Remember the claw technique? I, I've tried, but I'm not very good at it. You know? I'm not very good at it. I've tried. I'm not very good at it. Do you ever leash your rabbits and take them outside? No, I used to. But uh, my biggest rabbit uh, escapes the leash and I've had to chase him outside and ever since that happened I decided against it because the risk of him escaping and uh, well getting himself hurt is too high. Oh my god. Uh, so I don't do that anymore. This one is so big I think we need like three sections for this probably. This one's so large, look at it. It's really big. Yeah, I think three sections for this is the best. I think one time, one of my rabbits um, escaped uh, outside and then my dad had to come home from work and he pushed her out of the bush with a hockey club with like violence. <laughs> Like he pressed, he pressed her out of the bush with the hockey club. Yeah. And my dad was pissed because he had to come home from work to help me. You know? Imagine my dad's conversation with his boss. Yeah, I had to go home. My child's rabbit has escaped. You know? Uh... It was so stressful for me, like for real. It was so stressful, very stressful enough. Yeah, very, very stressful enough. <laughs> okay, so much radish, so much math. Yeah, my dad's an amazing dad. I love him. I'm very lucky. I don't think all VTubers have parents to support them, like their job. But both my parents are extremely supportive of my job. 
and um, um, I don't know. I'm very lucky. I'm also thinking of inviting my mom on a stream, you know. Uh, uh, good job. I mean, I think VTubing is not... I'm gonna throw this away because this part's a bit gross. Um, I think that um, it's not the most stable job, Ooh, you know. There, I'll be. Like, it's not. It's safer if you like go to vocational school or like I was gonna go, go say go to college but even that is not a guarantee you get a job these days you know it's oh these pieces are way too big like I think that it's normal for parents to not like the whole content creation thing because it's like scary you know it's it's not always the most reliable form okay one piece dropped on the floor i'm not gonna pick it up guys because i don't want to show my face um, um is your mom single she is not my mom is happily married and so is my dad but not to each other <laughs> oh lord that's some Alfie lore for you. Okay, let's pick out the ones that don't look gross. I think if I cut this part off at the top, that should be okay. This one's also okay. I think like that should be enough, and if we need more, we'll take more. Yeah. Is it possible Ida has an open relationship? Asking for a friend. I think my parents are very much uh, monogamous. Monogamous. Uh, how do you say this? Monog monogamous. <laughs> Among us. Uh, people. Oh. They are monogam mon monogamous. Monogamous. You know. Rinsma? Yeah, Rinsma. Maybe there's some dirt on these. Dirt mask. I don't think there's any dirt though. But one of the shells on this one is kind of gross. Okay, I think they're okay now. So, there we go. Looking kind of fresh, you know? Fresh mask. Miku da yo! It's the wrong kind of, you know, wrong kind of onion, wrong kind of string onion. Miku da yo! Maui! I could just cut them separately. Miku da yo! Maybe like this? Like, I saw one dude on YouTube cut them like vertically, vertically like this. And he says it looks better, but I don't know. Like that you cut them like this, like vert, like not straight, you know? I don't know if it's not, if it's like true, but I don't know. Make you die. Should I use the white part? No, I don't know. Diagonally. Diagonally. Cut them gay? How do I cut something gay? Oh, you mean like not straight? Okay, I'm fucking dumb. I'm a stupid. Okay. Should we have some carrots in too? What do you guys think? Some like carrot man? I'm not doing this super carefully, by the way. I'm. I mean, I mostly just care about the taste, I think, personally, you know. Carrot. We, sh we should add a carrot. Yeah, it will add a sweetness, so maybe it's a good idea. You know, shredded carrot, ma. You can add the carrot, ma. 
We should probably add the salt to the rad radishes now as well so they can get their juice out. And I I don't even know if I have sugar. That's the, like, I should have remembered that when I went to the grocery store today, but I I had like had no caffeine and my brain was not working at all. That I have sugar, but I think like I don't know if I can use this. I mean, technically it's just sugar, so it should be fine, right? I have a different kind of sugar. Um Swedish people will know. <laughs> the only sugar I have is this. Uh, technically, it should work, right? Because it's sugar and it's gonna, like, melt anyway, you know? This is just normal, like, technically, not the same thing. But it will work because it's sweet, it's sugar. It will work, I think so. See? It will work, I think. It's just sugar. Show us? Okay. Looks like this. It's just sugar, guys. But like... Crystallized, I guess. Like, it's like crystals. Yeah, this is the only sugar I have. I don't know, shouldn't it work? Why are they so big? It's to put on cinnamon buns. You think it's gonna work? Crush it up? I don't have a mortar and pestle. But this will be liquid. Won't it just melt? Together with the salt in the juice? It will dissolve, guys. Why don't you have a mortar and pestle? I don't know. I think it would work. It will work. It may take longer to dissolve. I think it's gonna be fine, guys. It's not ideal, but it's probably gonna be fine. Okay. Um, man, I should have weighed the, the radishes. Like, I should have weighed them. I do have a way though, so I guess I can do that. Or was it called in English? A scale? I don't know. Scale? Where is my scale though? I don't know. Scale? There it is. Oh my god, my scale is so dirty. Oh my god, is it out of battery? Yes. Cool. It's out of battery. Then I guess we're just gonna have to fucking wing it. You know? The swinglish a scale, yeah. And I guess I'm just gonna have to wing the like salt and sugar amount. Because I don't have any battery on my scale. But I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine, probably, most likely. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be terrible. I don't know. Okay, here, where's the salt? Ma? Here is the salt. Ma. This is very cursed. I apologize to any Korean who comes in here. Um, mm, okay, and I also need to crush the, the garlic and the ginger. I'm not using any shrimp paste because it's really difficult to find in Sweden. Um, I mean, this bowl, maybe I can like guess how heavy it is. I don't think it's a kilo. No, it's probably not. How much could it be? I think it's, I don't know, I'm guessing, I think it's like 700 grams. 600, 700 grams, maybe. I don't think it's a kilo. No, I don't think so. No. I think it's 
I'm gonna guess it's like 700 grams. I'm I'm bo I'm just like bullshitting here right now. I think something like that. Do you have a little filled with bo? I do actually. I could use milk and compare. Uh. Just used milk and compare ma. No, the milk is heavier. Yeah, I'm probably correct. Yeah, I mean, the scale is dead. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> and also, it didn't say on the, on the, on the, on the radish how, how heavy each one was. Milk. Yeah, milk. It was oat milk, though. Uh, like, how much radish is in, the, in this? I have a digital scale, but it's dead. It doesn't have any battery left. Okay. Let's calculate how much we need. Okay. Uh, so this re recipe uses four pounds. How much is that? One point eight kilograms. So about two kilos. Oh my god, I suck at math. Can you guys help me? <laughs> so this recipe uses two kilos of radish and it says to use two tablespoons of salt and two tablespoons of sugar. If this is 700 grams, how much should I use? How much sugar and, sh and salt should I use? Half? Half. Okay, so we're gonna use one... It's, it's almost a kilo, right? Almost. Like, under half. Yeah, let's... Okay. Could that have to smoke? You know? <laughs> it's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We also need the fish sauce, right? Fish sauce. Okay, like I'm un slightly under half. I think it's gonna be fine, guys. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Okay. What does the recipe say to do? Cut the radish. Add the salt and mix well. Set aside for 30 minutes. Drain the juice. Okay. So add the salt and sugar and mix well. Okay. Okay. I see. We're gonna have to wait for 30 minutes? Damn. That's uh, unbased actually. Okay, let's put the salt in. Like slightly less than what it said. Like maybe something like this. Like this. Put in. And then the, the cursed sugar, right? The cursed sugar. It will melt, so it's fine, I think. It will be okay, I think. Because the juices will come out. The juice. Like, the juice will come out and it will be fine. Okay. It's a bit cursed though. Uh, okay. I think in the meantime, we can mince the garlic and the ginger. Okay. This is an improvisation moment. And mix well. So, I'm gonna use like... I guess using my hands is probably the best solution. I'm just gonna go uh, wash them up, okay? Wash them up. I mean, I could just wash them in the sink, I'm stupid. Wash them up. Wash them up. The cursed sugar. It is, I checked on the package though, guys. It is just sugar and nothing else. 
it's just the shape uh, that's different, not the contents. So, carpet in the kitchen? Why? Uh, is that weird to have? Do you have a headset on? No, I have uh, like a kind of, um, how do I explain? The same kind of microphone that journalists use. Okay, I'm just gonna mix ma. Mix ma. Oh my god, the sound is so bad. You guys hear it? It's very crisp. I hope that the crystals will melt. Hopefully. It should, because like, the juices that will come out will make a pool of water at the bottom. Like the salt will make everything drain out. That, cur that sound is incredibly cursed though. I feel like it, it already is dissolving. Yeah, it is. Okay. And it's fine. I feel like it, yeah, it already is dissolving as I'm mixing this. See? This is the most cursed thing ever. Wow. Okay. I don't know why the scissor is here. We could move it. I think I was using it for something. Okay. Why didn't it make the sugar pieces so big? Because look at the package, what they're used for. They're used for cinnamon buns. They're not used for this purpose. But I used them for this because I don't have any other... Uh, I don't have any other, you know, sugar right now. So we, we take what we have. Improvised sugar, yeah. I guess, you know what, I'm just gonna write sugar here on my shopping list on my fridge. So I don't forget it. So, okay. I have a, whoops. I have like a autism schedule on my fridge. That's like a magnetic one. Um, so yeah. And now it needs to sit for 30 minutes. I think and then the juice is gonna come out and then we can move on to the next step. What we could do in the meantime is uh, prepare the garlic and the ginger. Uh, oh, we're gonna add some carrots too. Mm, maybe I'll just put them in together with the with the with the onions. Just like a small amount of shredded carrot would be nice, I think. You know? Like a small amount. I have, uh, what's it called? Um, the thing you slice. I don't know what's it called. Um, a mandolin? Yeah, a mandolin. Okay. Yeah, I have one of those. I also, uh, actually for the carrot, I think I'll just use a grater. It's probably gonna be easier. I think a grater would work. Like a cheese grater. And then we have a bowl. It's gonna work. Huh. This will work. Yeah, I don't like using my mandolin. I have one, but I don't like using it because I, I, uh, I mean, you guys know I'm a very clumsy, I'm a very clumsy little girl. So I, uh, I'm scared of hurting myself, basically. I think we can use like this, right? <laughs> like that. Should work. Like grate it like this. Works. Like what? Grate them. The carrots like flying everywhere. Flying everywhere. Yeah. I think adding some carrots will be nice. 
so they have some sweetness. I really wish that I had shrimp paste, guys. Um, but I don't. And I also don't know... I might... I might add some rice flour to the chili paste. Um, I haven't decided yet. Sometimes I make it with rice flour and sometimes... You don't need to use the rice flour. But it makes it easier for... Mm, it like coats everything nicely, if that makes sense. Like when you make the slurry. But you don't need to do that. Um, no, you don't need to use the shrimp paste. You don't need to. But it gives it a nice flavor. But it's not like a must, you know. Okay, I'm gonna give the rabbits the carrot. Hello? Where's it go? Okay. Um, Graders scare me. I mean, you need to stop before you reach the grading, grading hole. You know? Grade the, the grading hole. The hole. Where's it go? Can we, man? Where's it go? Yeah, I think we can use a bit of light rice flour for the the chili paste slurry. I'll probably make the slurry in this bowl. We can add the onion and then make everything and then we pour everything in. I feel like I should have made the, the radish pieces maybe a bit smaller, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that everything's covered in the in the thing you know also i will say that i followed follow this recipe before uh, and it wasn't spicy enough for me so i i'm gonna completely ignore what she says in terms of garlic and um the amount of chili powder because i think that it's too weak. Okay. Nice curd outfit. Oh, thank you. I think it's... Uh, I don't know if Klaxon's here right now, but it's actually Klaxon that bought this skirt for me. Um. Okay. Wow. There we go. For the garlic. How many cloves should we have? This is quite a lot of garlic man. It's quite a lot of radish. Maybe four cloves. It's enough. You dress well Vita being entering right? Uh today I'm dressing very casually because I'm a bit tired today. I'm a bit tired today, so I'm dressing quite casually. I'm just peeling the garlic so that it's ready. I have one of these. Does anyone else have these? Like you put the garlic inside and then you like this, right? And then you can peel it off like easier. Mm. And now because I did this live on stream, it didn't work. Like you're supposed to do that and then it comes out and it's easier to peel. But for some reason it didn't work now. Oh my god! But it usually works. <laughs> it usually works, but now it didn't work. It's just because you guys are watching. Um, I'm so cursed right now. Crap product. No, but it always works usually. It's just... <laughs> it's your fault! Wouldn't the knife, knife be easier? I mean, you can use the knife too, but... I find this to be better, but now it wasn't. Oh! I dropped it! Oh my god. No! I'm gonna have to take a new one. 
Let's try it now. Let's see if this works. Ah, see? Now it worked. This is how it's supposed to be. You see? This is how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. Hmm? When you guys looked away, it worked. See? Great news, guys. The sugar is dissolving, like I thought it would. So it seems that my bullshit solution to my sugar shortage did indeed work. So any non-believers that were like, use a mortar and pestle, you can suck my ass. <laughs> Because I am very, very intelligent, eh? and you are baby Goo Goo Gaga. So, yeah, got him. Got him. See? Yeah, guys. Got him. Don't tempt us. Tempt us with what? Thank you so much, Risma. Just roll well, lightly. Well, 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 no! I wanna be violent and use force! What do you mean? What do you mean I can't be aggressive? I've always wanted to be aggressive. I need to compensate for my shortness, you know? That's, that's what short people do. We compensate for like our lack of height with being turbo aggressive and spicy. Because otherwise nobody notices us, because we're so short, you know? The small ones are crazy. Does that mean you think I'm crazy? Thank you, Risma, for the 34 months. Thank you, thank you. Full of violent rage? No. Also, excuse the fact that I have, like, rabbit stuff on my socks. Uh, I will have you guys know that I vacuum sometimes twice a day and it still happens so yeah there we go okay wash my wash my hands Dry my, dry my hands. Okay, and then we have the fish sauce as well. Fish sauce. You can reach the counter. Indeed, I can. I'm not that short, but I actually tell you that in my last apartment, um, in my last apartment, I couldn't reach my reach my spice shelf because that apartment was built for like a fucking giant Swedish man or something. I don't know what kind of like average height they used to like calculate the usability of that kitchen, but I couldn't fucking reach the spice shelf in that kitchen. I feel like they were like, oh, only only like a young tall man is gonna want to live in this small apartment, you know, uh, or something. And then I moved in there and I couldn't reach like anything in a fucking apartment. I hated that apartment. It was very rancid uh, and I had neighbors in that apartment that kept smoking the uh, devil's uh, lettuce and it smelled like skunks <laughs> in the entire fucking apartment complex I listen I don't have anything you know like you, you do you but go into the woods go into the woods I don't wanna I don't vibe very bad. Very, 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 very bad. Skunks bad. Is it true that Swedish people are tall and blonde? I am short and I have brown hair. So no, I guess. Every Swedish person, uh, well, you know, they, we come in many shapes and colors and eye colors and we just exist, you know, like we. We do in exist in different forms. You know what I mean? 
Uh, is the BGM too loud? How much ginger do I need? Does it fucking say one tablespoon? Means ginger. I don't even know how much. I, I don't know. I guess this... Uh, I don't know. Do I need to like... How do I like scrape this... How do I scrape its skin? How do I, how do I scrape the skin off? Do I use a spoon? Do I just... Do I, do I just use a spoon? Spoon? Scrapus? Like, let's try a spoon. Like... Oh, it works. Oh god, it works. Look guys, look, 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 look. Like... It works. Like this. Woo! I'm a genius! Genius! Scrape its skin off? I'm gonna scrape the skin? Use a grater? But I don't want the skin! I don't want the skin! Oh, the skin! Peel the skin! Sometimes I pull so hard, I rip the skin. Yeah. The skin. The skin is paper thin. I don't want the skin. You, if you're this, if you're gross and want skin, you can, you can have skin in your kimchi. But I'm not gonna put any skin in mine. You know. Peel the skin. Man, the fucking ginger is going everywhere in my kitchen. The skin. Sorry, I'm obsessed. Uh, yesterday, I kept... You guys know I have equilalia or whatever it's called, you guys know? Like, that's why I keep saying the same words over and over. It's not because I have tics, it's not the same thing, guys. Uh, I know that you guys, some of you have invented weird lore that I have tics. It's not true. I have echolalia. It's not the same thing. Uh, anyway, so I kept saying skunks. Skunks and the uh, penguin. <laughs> the entire night I was like, skunks, penguin. <laughs> and I couldn't stop. It was so bad. Skunks. Yeah, I kept saying it the entire fucking night. It was miserable, actually. I feel like I need to wash this a little bit so I can rip off the skin. Rip the skin off. Rip the skin. Sorry. Yeah, that's gonna become something for sure. Okay. Skunks. Anyway, so there's a gross piece here that I'm gonna cut off. Oh, there we go. But I think that's pretty much... And also we forgot to time that. It said like 30 minutes and I don't know how long ago that was. I think I said that like 15 minutes ago or something. Roughly. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I, I lost control of my life, I think. But um... RIP THE SKIN! Uh, I, I always wondered if technically Echolalia is similar or a variety to a tick. Uh, I guess it's probably similar, and it might... I don't know, I, I'm not a doctor, but... Um, from like what I understand when I've talked to people with Tourette's, when they need to do a tick, it's like, if they hold it in, it's actually painful for them. And it's very, very stressful. But I can hold in my words, and it doesn't cause me any issues, you know what I mean? It just feels good to say it, but I can like... I can contain the skunks and the penguin. I don't need to say it. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, when I've talked to people with Tourette's, it sounds more like they need to say it. Otherwise, it causes them like actual pain. I, I, I don't have Tourette's though. But uh, I've asked friends who have it and they describe it to me. You know? They describe it to me. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put like a 20 minute timer on this and then we'll come back, I think. And we'll move to the PC in the meantime. 
so I can sit down because I'm, I'm feels very old, guys. And she needs to relax. Skooks. Oosh. Okay, I'm back in my chair now. Oh, I feel so good to sit down. I'm an old woman. Ah, yes. Skooks. Very, very nice. Skooks. Should I, should I switch microphone or should I use the current one? I don't know. Maybe I should use like the other microphone in the meantime. Like this one, you know? Like my, my normal microphone. Yeah, let's use my normal microphone. Okay. Jättebra. Okay, we're waiting now for the the kimchi to become uh, moist. It's gonna become moist. And also, did you guys know? Fun fact. I have special kimchi jars. Yes, I'm that weird. I guess I have ex I have special fermentation jars. <laughs> That we're gonna use today. Mm. Skunks. Mm. Professional fermenter. I mean, I've made kimchi quite a lot of times now, but I haven't used the weird sugar that I used today. But I'm glad it worked out. Sugar is sugar, you know, and it's it's gonna be fine, I think. Yeah, everything's gonna be daijoubu. Fermentation? Sniffa? Indeed, fermentation, sniffa. Fermentation, sniffa. I feel like purposefully pronouncing English word in a very swinglish intentional way is a... Yeah, I for sure it is. Um, without the right jars, the kimchi wants to be friends. That's why I bought the fermentation jar. Uh, because if you don't have like fermentation jars for kimchi, it will, your entire fridge will smell like kimchi. Um, so if you want to start making kimchi, I would heavily suggest that you um, that you use uh, the like special uh, like you can use jars meant for sauerkraut if you want. Hmm. Yes. You can use it if you want. Sauerkraut, ma. Mm. I'm scared though. It's probably some Korean judging me because I'm doing things wrong. But I'll have you know, I'm following, I'm following a recipe made by a Korean woman. So hopefully I'm not committing any mistakes, I think. I'm listening to the Korean woman, okay? <laughs> but I think I'm gonna sli slightly adjust it because um, I wanna use rice flour today and make a paste uh, first. Because I, um, I've i seen uh, uh, like uh, other people do that and I wanna, wanna do that today. And I've never added carrots before, so that's uh, a new one for me. No, you're doing great. I'm Korean. Okay. Uh, can I say something? Uh, I ate my friend's kimchi yesterday and it did not taste like real kimchi. I don't know what she had done or like what recipe she was following, but it tasted wrong. Uh, yeah, it tasted wrong, you know? I don't know. I don't know what she did wrong. Yeah, it tastes... It did, <laughs> did it taste like skunks? Nah, it didn't taste like skunks. It tasted like too watery. I think she... Didn't use enough pepper flakes or enough garlic or enough ginger. I feel like those three things are very important. And then the fish sauce. Although if you're vegan, you can use uh, soy sauce, like a dark soy sauce. Um, I, I suppose you can even use a mushroom soy sauce if you want an umami kind of kind of thing, you know? That could also work, I think. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, and uh, like I said, I think most people also use shrimp paste in their kimchi, but um, it's very difficult to find here. Um, I've only seen it a couple of times, and uh, sadly, I don't have any shrimp paste right now. Mm. Otherwise, if you do find shrimp paste, I would highly recommend that you add it because it's very tasty, ma. Yeah, I know it sounds scary, but it's not. It's just shrimpus. Yeah, it's just shrimpus. And I think most people like shrimpus, right? I think so. What wine do you prefer? Uh, I only drink white wine or rosé because if I drink red wine, I get a massive headache. Like, massive giga headache. I love a good shrimpus. Yeah, me too. I love a good shrimpus. A good shrimpus is very important. I feel like chat isn't judging me on my kimchi skills today. Nobody has really complained. I think the only thing that chat's roasting me today is my knife skills. How I'm using my knives. That's like the triggering part. And that I suck at cutting vegetables. <laughs> yeah. That's the only... And I'll have you guys know that I it's better than it used to be. It's better than it used to be. I used to... Uh, be way worse. I used to hurt myself with knives in the kitchen so often. So often. All the time. Yeah. But but not anymore, really. No. I've, I'm more careful now. I think. Yeah. Still not ideal, though. Still not ideal, ma. I still have the cabbage, um, and I was I bought the cabbage because I wanted. I was like, maybe I'll make cabbage kimchi, but um, how do I explain this? When you make cabbage kimchi, uh, you need to wash every single leaf and make sure you get all the dirt out, and then it takes way longer for the salt to like. Sorry, the see that's how I can't Sorry, sorry guys, my rabbit escaped and he was standing next to the cable and it terrified me. Uh, so I swore really loudly, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I, it, yeah, so yeah, that was very scary, yeah, it was very... <laughs> but it's fine, the cable's fine, it's fine, everything's okay now. Uh, he's in the cage now, uh, yeah, but he, uh, how did he escape? Uh... <laughs> He's very, very strong, so he can push the cage open sometimes. Um, he's an incredibly strong rabbit. He is a fucking muscle mountain, dude. Giga muscle. Giga big muscle, man. Yeah. Anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> what was I talking about? Kimchi something? Something about kimchi, I don't know. Uh, cutting hands? I mean, no, I think I moved past that, right? Didn't I? Uh, cabbage kimchi cleaning. Oh yeah, you need to clean every leaf properly and then to make sure there's no dirt and then it takes way longer for the, f like, cabbage fluids. That sounds so gross, but it takes way longer for the fluids to come out. Um, when you use radish, it's very fast because radish is mostly water um, and then when you make cabbage kimchi and you do the you cover it in, in the paste you also once again need to make sure every leaf is covered and you need to go in between everything and it takes way longer uh, to make so in general, I pretty much only make cabbage kimchi because it's way easier, it's way faster to make. Yes, so I prefer that. Yes, but you can also make kim... I think there's a misconception 
especially in the West, that kimchi is just cabbage. That is not true. There's like hundreds different kind of kimchi. You can use carrots, you can use cucumbers, you can use mustard leaf, you can you can kimchi any vegetable, pretty much. Doesn't need to be cabbage. Mmm. Doesn't need to. There's many, many kinds of kimchi. Also kimchi for different purposes. And also not all kimchi is spicy. There's also unspicy kimchi. Yeah. Yeah, just how pickles are a thing. Yes. It doesn't have to be cabbage, no. Are these expensive kimchi makers essential for good kimchi? What do you mean expensive kimchi makers? Very diverse world of kimchi. Yeah, it's a very diverse world of kimchi. If you don't like cabbage, you can just make your own kimchi out of a vegetable that you like, you know? I'm a vegetable, Alfie. Can you kimchi me? Yes. I will cover you in chili paste. And then I will ferment you outside for two days. We will preserve your musk. <laughs> yes. Today. Today is the day. Yes. Now we're talking. I, I feel like I've touched something here. I don't know what I... Uh, there's some kimchi makers on Amazon. Ah, uh, no, you don't need those. You can just buy... If you want to buy a jar for fermenting uh, or a container for fermenting kimchi, you can just use a, like... Uh, well, you can use um, a jar and a pickle weight or you can use, like, uh, containers meant for sauerkraut fermentation. You don't need to buy the expensive one. It's not needed at all. Also, I'm by no means a kimchi expert. I've just done it like a couple of times. What's the wait for? It's for submerging the kimchi um, in the fluid, if that makes sense. It keeps it fresher for longer. You don't need it, but it's... It helps prevent uh, bacteria growth and um, keeps it fresher for longer. Keeps it crunchier as well. Mm. The, you can buy uh, pickle glass weights. Uh, they're usually made of glass or clay. And they're also useful if you're making cucumber pickles as well. Yeah, just boil some water and rinse the container first. But make sure to wait because like don't use a glass jar, fill it up with water, and then use cold water, because that's how you get shattered glass everywhere. Don't do that. I've never really understood what kimchi actually is. Well, it's a form of pickles, basically. Just a form of pickles. Oh shit, I accidentally disconnected my keyboard. Where did my keyboard cable go? No, that's crazy. Someone stole my cable. It was me. I stole it from myself. Uh, are you ever scream? Yes, good question. Are you ever scream or become rage? On streams, you always look so calm, chill and confident. Like you never get control, uh, like you never get out of control of yourself. Uh, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not really an angry person. I'm not really an angry person. But of course I do scream. Uh, like yeah, I literally just ran away and cursed really loudly. But, but, but no, I, I like as in actually getting angry. No, I don't really get angry. I don't really get um, ragey or angry. Like, yeah, of course, I on stream I scream sometimes, but it's just a game. I'm not actually upset. I think the more common thing that can happen is that sometimes I get really, really annoyed. And I, when I get annoyed enough, I tilt. 
I chilled so much to the point where I'm not having fun anymore. Uh, that's happened a couple of times on stream. I remember one day I was playing, and it was recently, I was playing Rayman and I kept dying so much and I was, I was not having a good day. Um, I was not having a good day. I just woke up in a bad mood and the fact that everything kept going wrong, it just made me so annoyed that I wasn't having fun anymore, you know? Yeah, I think that's more common, but I'm not really an angry person. When I was a teenager, I had, I had issues. I, I would get very angry all the time. But you know what? Looking back at my life, I think most of that anger was justified. I think so. Because most of the anger I felt and the rage I had was from being bullied and then people not listening to me. People not taking me seriously. So of course, I would make anyone angry, right? I feel like it was justified. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Vanilla. Welcome. I wouldn't say I'm always calm, but... Um, mm, I don't know. I guess I am kind of a calm person. Even in stressful situations, I don't really... get too affected, I think. Sometimes. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm a Valkyrie. I get angry when I need to get angry, but... Mm, most of the time, I'm calm. Impatient? I wouldn't say I'm impatient, no. You have strong nerves. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm a Valkyrie. Maybe we're just born like that. I don't know. Maybe it's a buff we get from Odin. I don't know. Uh, it's the Snusk icon of Astraline. No. That's Nick, not me. It's good to be able to stay calm and cause this world loves to try everyone's patience. Mm, it's true. Life can be uh, stressful sometimes. You know what? Sometimes when I am in public and I see people who don't have a lot of emotional control, like people who start screaming at small things and get really upset. Like I think one thing I saw once um, at an airport which obviously is a very stressful place. I watched a man scream at his like wife and kids about the parking lot and he got so angry and upset. And for me, I didn't really understand uh, like how that could make him angry. Um, I don't really... I don't... I mean, I, I don't know. It must be stressful to not have that kind of emotional regulation, I guess. I don't know. I feel bad. I felt bad for him because it seemed like very stressful and like he's going to become very tired afterwards and then he's going to have to apologize to his wife and kids, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it must be stressful to travel in an airport with a family, but I can't really remember that my dad ever did that. Okay, one, once, once, once. But it was justified. Because one time, me, my brother and my dad, we traveled to Greece, and on the way home, uh, NATO, NATO needed to use the airport. So they loaded, we only got 10 minutes to lift off our plane. So they, they shoveled everyone on the plane as fast as possible. Uh, and uh, uh, they lift off the plane while people still standing and shit. And then when we landed in Sweden, 
um, we discovered that our suitcase had burst open and all our clothes were laying everywhere. And my dad actually got really angry and upset. I think that's like one of the only times I've seen my dad angry in my entire life. And I think that's justified, right? So my dad has used duct tape to tape our bag together again. <laughs> but it worked, you know? It worked. He just taped it. Yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah. I think they used the air they used the airport for something. I don't remember. It was a long time ago, guys, but yeah. Okay, uh, the timer has done the thing. Let's go back to the kitchen. Kitchen one. Okay, now we're on the my other microphone. And now we're gonna make the paste. Uh, let's see here, where's the... There. Ika, don't make jokes like that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's... Let's continue. And back to our reporter in the field. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna get the rice flour. So we can make a little bit of a paste. Oops, I do think I have rice flour. Yes, I do. Okay. Whoops. Rice flour. I think I'm gonna... Mm, stir it into water first. Ah, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, the light is... It's because of the sun. And I can't turn my lights on the kitchen in the kitchen on because it will make everything flicker. Okay. Okay. Let's pour some rice flour in. Maybe like this is enough. And some water. So it's a bit of a paste moment. Oh. Paste ma. So there's no clumps, you know, because that would be gross. That would be very disgusting. Clumpus. No clumpus allowed, you know. Okay. I just noticed a lot of hair on my garlic thing. Okay, uh, the rice flour is mixed and okay, so let's put these in these, okay, yes, um, does it say that I should use the, the drain the juice? Yeah, we should save the the radish juice. So I guess we should pour it in here. Oh, that's a lot of whoop, that's a lot of water. I'll show you guys in a moment. This is all the water that came out. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot of water that came out. Okay, let's see how much, um, two, what is two, three cup? I don't know what the fuck that means, man. I don't to speak. British system. What is that? Oh 
one and a half deciliter or something. Let's just add a lot of paste. A lot of paste ma. A lot of chili ma. Okay. 200, okay. Okay. Let's add a lot, a lot of stuff. This is a chili powder, ma. Mommy. Maybe something like this. I want quite a lot. Because it's tasty. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the garlic in this too. Tasty ma. Tasty ma garlic. Eh. 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 Okay, there you go. Eh. Okay, there you go. A lot of a lot of garlic. Girl, I'm a strong girl. I can do it myself. Can I press the ginger with this, or is it too hard? What do you guys think? Should I? I had another thing I can grate the. You think try it? You think so? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know. No, it's probably not gonna work. Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, it does work, maybe. Oh my god. Oh, it's squirting, it's squirting. Ah! It's squirting. Oh, it does, it's so. The juice, the juice, it's coming up. The juice. Squirting all over my hands. I think it most of it came out, guys. I feel like a lot of it came out. Oh fuck yeah, blast smoke. Oh yeah, they extended. Oh, it's broken, bro. Bro, it's broken. The juice fucking squirted, dude. Everywhere is squirted. I have another thing I can use. I have something my friend gave me. I don't know where it is. Where's the object? Where's the object? What? Dude, it smells my gin my hands smell like ginger ma. Well I had a grater, but I don't know where it is. It's like a small one. Where the fuck did it go? Excuse me. Do kudeska? Ginger is a good smell. Maybe we just grate it with this one. Like this. This should work. Great ma. Great ma. Great ma ginger ma. You know? Great ma. You can put it back together. I know. I was being dramatic for content. Leave me alone. I'm shaving. I'm grating. I grated my hand a little bit there. So this kimchi will contain some Oshi skin, maybe. Potentially. Yeah. Maybe. The juice, the juice is coming out. It's not squirting at this time, at least. I don't like it when it squirts. I'm not a big fan. I don't, I don't think it's a particularly nice experience, especially if it gets in my eyes, you know. I think that's not very nice. 
Oh my god! It came everywhere! Okay. Sug min röv. Aldrig i livet. Okay. Okay, I think this is fine. This is okay. Okay. Oh yeah, the fish fucking it. Fish. Fish sauce. Fisk. Oh, fisk. Okay, guys. Time to fisk. Are you guys ready? Are you so ready right now? How much fish sauce? One. What is this number? Fucking what, Americans. Stop with this. One slash four. How about fish sauce? What is that? Excuse me? How the fuck do I... What is that measurement? I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of that means. What does that mean? One tablespoon. T tablespoon. Okay, so like, okay. So I think, yeah, just to add a little bit then. Okay. You should use the shredder on a plate. Okay. Mom. Thanks for telling me. There you go. That's okay. That's enough. You have been starstruck. Thank you so much for the raid, Star. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Many arigatos. Many taxumikes. So say in my country. Okay, let me see. So I haven't missed anything. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, she has the radish, she has the salt, the sugar, the sauce, the fish sauce, the pepper flakes, the onions, the garlic, and the ginger, and also the minced carrot, uh, sorry, shredded carrot, I mean, and uh, the little rice, uh, rice moment, you know, there you go. Don't make the joke, chat! Don't make the joke! Be a- you don't make the joke! Don't make it! Be nice now! Be nice! Don't make it! Don't make the joke! No! You must resist! This is a family-friendly stream, guys! This is a family-friendly stream! Okay, we also need to add some of the... 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 Okay. There we go. Oops. So there we go. My kitchen a disaster right now. Disaster right now, actually. You know what I have though? You're all gonna be so jealous of me. Look at what I have. That's right, guys. I can eat it in front of you. And you can't even do anything. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, so yummy. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Go so good. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Oh my god, guys. Mmm. Wow. So yum yum. Oh, you have them at your local store? Where are you from, if I can ask? Because I know some people, I've like, I've, I've spoken to Americans who have eaten them. Which is crazy to me. Ikea salsa? That's crazy. That's wild. Holy shit. I think we add a little bit more fluid to this, maybe. Okay. 
The paste. The paste. The paste. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's a bit, uh, you know, pretty good. Mmm. Uh, smells so spicy. Yeah. Alfie hands? Yes, these are my hands. You're pretty squonculated though. Pretty. The camera's stuttering. Fuck. Okay. I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better. Okay, let's mix ma. Mix ma bowl ma. Mix ma bowl ma. It drops half a second. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. You know, there's not much I can do. I'm gonna wash my hands now so I can massage. Massage ma. You know, massage ma. Massage ma radish. Massage ma. Okay. And we're gonna drop it all in there and get it all, you know. Scrum plated in there, you know. Massage ma. Yeah, we're gonna massage ma. No, stop biting. No, stop, stop. I'm asking you to cease. My Habit's not happy right now because he's contained. He's contained. Usually he gets to run around every day, all, all day, except when I'm sleeping. Uh, so he's very pissed at me now and because he's locked in the cage and he thinks I hate him probably. He's like, you don't, you don't love my mom, you don't love me anymore. How could you do this, mom? Anyway, so now we're gonna massage the radish basically with the goo, with the the concoction that we have made and we're gonna make sure oh my god it's so spicy it hit my eyes and it, it hurt like my eyes literally stinged i'm not joking my eyes stinged guys literally they, they stinged right now holy shit okay that's a good sign though it's a good sign I'm gonna make sure that I get all everything from the bottom as well, you know, so it's evenly distributed, you know. You could make a joke about what it sounds like right now, you know. <laughs> me with your mom? <laughs> Sorry, what? Me, me when your mom? When me when your mom? <laughs> Funny. Okay, I'm just gonna massage this a little bit and then. I think this is good though. Look at this. It's pretty good. This might be, have be, been the best kimchi I've ever made, unironically. The shape could be better. You know, I didn't cut them into perfect pieces or whatever, but that doesn't fucking matter. Because I'm gonna eat this in like a week and then I'm gonna have to make more. Because I eat kimchi so... Oh, it's so spicy. It hit my eye. Uh, uh, you know, it's gonna disappear anyway into my stomach uh i guess this fell out so i guess i'm trying to gonna taste it that is very spicy this is this is very i might have put too much pepper pe pepper in it that is indeed quite potent if i do say so myself um, I might have made a mistake now. Okay, I think that's enough mixing. Indeed, I um, I might have put too much uh, pepper in the, in that. Maybe a slight too much. It's fine though. It's that's all, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. But the flavor is good. It's just spicy. You know. You're gonna leave this to ferment? Yes. Thank you, Anon, for gifting us up to your Viking mother. Oh my god, thank you. Wow. That's Anon, crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one more, guys. Mmm. Oh. 
Mmm. Oh, so good. Wow. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, thank you, Anon, for gifting. I appreciate it. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So good, guys. Mmm. So nice. Okay, guys. Woo, fitta. I moved you. I know, I know. I'm so rude right now. I literally moved you guys without asking for permission. I'm so sorry, but my kimchi jars are here. And I need to sanitize them, so... One moment, okay? One moment. I... I'm sorry I, I disturbed your... Uh, I disturbed you. I'm sorry, uh, I apologize. Um, I'll ask for permission next time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We ballin, we ballin. Very, very nice, guys. Uh, yeah, you might hear my kettle, it's loud as hell. Okay, sorry about that. Apologize. This stream has been pretty disturbing. In what way? What do you mean? I've. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's not been disturbing. You're you're disturbing. What do you mean? What is disturbing about this stream? Nothing really. You know. Okay. Nothing. There's so many pepper flakes here. Holy shit! Where did it come from? Real hands. Camera's lagging. Oof. Yeah. It might be a bit overheated because the phone is giga old. Giga old. Okay. RTX grabbers. Yeah. A little bit like that. What is Swedish national? dish uh i think it's like meatballs right probably i don't know probably do we, do we even have a national dish i don't fucking know how long have you had this phone this phone is not my phone that i use in um in like uh daily life that that's my old this is my old android phone that's like the entire screen is cracked and i only use it for cooking streams for a camera like i use it as a camera basically and um i think this phone is from like 2000 and 2020 2020 and this phone this one is uh you you guys gave this to me that's uh do you guys gave this phone to me because there was a viewer who saw how cracked my screen was and he felt uh, you guys felt so bad for me that uh, you bought me a new phone okay. yes that is what happened yes indeed basically yes chat moment yeah i'm very grateful because um, my old phone was dying pretty badly and I, at the time I didn't have any money to replace it. I mean, now I would be able to because now, you know, you know, it's better right now for me in general. But uh, back then, uh, not, not very good. No, I am not rich, guys, but... I have enough savings where I could buy a phone, you know. I think there's like weird misconception that streamers are rich, you know. That's like only 0.1% of streamers have a lot of money or something. I, I, like, I'm not even joking. It's something like that. Like, the percentage is very, very, very small. 
you know. Everybody knows the streamers are broke. Yeah, exactly. See? Broke? Broke, I wouldn't say, but... At least, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Most streamers, probably, yes. I'm okay. Yeah, we have, I mean, yeah, healthcare. And I also have dental insurance. Uh, which I'm very grateful about. Beep, ba -de, pop, pop. Okay. Now we can sanitize. And I'm gonna have a wait for them to cool down. After. So they don't, like, crack. I don't think they will, but... It's good to... Ooh, my god, it's so scary to sanitize like this. I mean, you guys can see what I'm doing, but... I'm pouring super hot water into the glass to make sure it's not disgusting. Bacteria is kill. You haven't been to the dentist in years? I would recommend that you go, because I also... I'll be honest, last year I procrastinated going to the dentist because I am scared of the dentist. I think some viewers will know that about me, I've talked about it. Uh, after an incident at the dentist, I got so scared that I didn't want to go back. Um, and because of that... I had, yeah, I, I had like two cavities, but it was fine. They were, they were like very small, but you know, it could have been avoided if I had gone earlier. But yeah, if you have insurance, I would recommend that you go. It's worth it. You can prevent any incidents, you know? Okay. I'm gonna pour water on the lids as well. And hope I don't burn myself. But do you floss? Does anyone actually floss? I try to. Actually now, after I went to the dentist the last time, I do floss. Because he gave me... He was roasting me. So yes, now I do floss. But before, no. Time to clean! Oh my god! And ironically, I don't know if any of you guys agree with me, but I like cleaning. I, I, it's nice. I like it, actually. It's like, the voices are silent in my brain. I like it. I don't know. Am I weird? Does anyone else like cleaning? Any, any cleanings and cleaning enjoyers and stuff? Any cleaner enjoy cleaning enjoyers? No, I do. I don't like cleaning. Really? You guys can't relate? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I like cleaning because I don't know I mean, I have ADHD, so I don't like sitting still. So when I have something to like do, I it it feels good for me, you know. It feels nice, you know. I don't know. I don't know, I like cleaning. I don't like, no, I don't like cleaning other people's houses, guys. I did that once, uh, to like earn some money. Clean a couple of my friends' houses, uh, like apartments, I guess. But I, I didn't like it because I, I felt, it felt gross when it's like other people's dirt. You know? I, I, I wasn't, a, I, I didn't, I didn't vibe. I didn't vibe, you know? You know? Like, when you clean someone's house, someone else's house, it's like, oh, what is this stain? Like, do I even want to know? You know, do I even want to know what this stain is? It's also very exhausting. I 
I think people underestimate how hard cleaning is as a job. Like it's it's viewed as like an entry level job and I think cleaners in general are not very respected, but I, they should be. It's very labor, like physically labor intensive. And if you're good at cleaning, it's honestly a skill, like just like anything else. So I wish people would respect cleaners more. Like, if I meet a cleaner at a hotel or some shit, I always make sure to smile at them. Because uh, I, I feel like people just treat them as invisible workers, like they don't exist. And they don't get any respect, you know? And I feel like that's too bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know? I wouldn't say I feel bad for them, not really. I would say that I wish they were respected more, you know? Ma oh, maybe I do feel a little bad for them. Like, in the sense that I wish they were respected more. Let's feel how warm it is. Okay, I think it's fine to put the kimchi in the jar now. I think I'm gonna use... Should I use a spoon or my hands? Maybe using my hands will be easier. Can I even fit in here? Yeah, I can. <laughs> look, look, guys, I can fit my hands. My hands are so small, it can fit inside a jar. If I, was, uh, if I had, like, man hands, that wouldn't be possible. That wouldn't be possible, man. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands again. Yeah, I have very small hands. I get comments uh, on it all the time. Like, um, people usually comment on it. Or that I have shaky hands is also something I get comments on. I know, I know I have shaky hands, guys. Like, I know. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all in there, I guess. Just load it all in there and then press down. Press down as much as possible. You know? I'm gonna try to fill up the entire jar as compact as I can, you know? There we go. Yeah, can you guys fit your hand in a Pringles can? I can. I can push my entire hand down into a Pringles can. Can you guys do that? It's a fun little party trick, you know? For sure. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? I don't even know how much you guys can see right now. Maybe I should move the camera up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit because I realized you guys might not be able to see what I'm doing. I think that's better for you guys. I think that's better for you. Okay. I think it's turning out pretty good. Like, it's very covered. I, I actually really like the rice... Like, the rice flour uh, addition. It this doesn't really affect the flavor, but it yields some more... Hmm... Thicker... Taste consistency, I think. If that makes sense. I, it, like, it's, I, I think it was easier to cover the kimchi. Like, I like it. I, I like it, actually. I've seen some people do it before, so I wanted to... It's worse? Really? Woo! It's worse now? Oh my god. I can't see what you guys see. Woo. Maybe like this? I'll go check on my PC. Yeah, I think that's better. I can move a little bit. I can move the lids here. Okay. Like this? But we're almost done now, you know? We're almost done. I think we did well today. Am 
my kitchen is all messy now though. I'm gonna have to clean off the stream. Gonna press down. Press small. So almost an entire jar full. Almost. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Did you guys hear? Something in my kitchen made a noise. What was it? What made that noise? I think it was my kettle that turned itself off. But I don't know. I think so. I think so. Okay, Prisma. Gonna Prisma. There you go. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna wipe the top, obviously, because there's a bunch of paste there now and it's gonna get stuck to the lid, which is gross. Pick up full of please. I think I'm gonna eat it. Don't you have a spoon? Uh, I think using my hands is easier. You know, I think I can eat this piece though. <laughs> That's good kimchi. I did a good job. It's. I think it's gonna end up being a bit too spicy, but um, it's not really a problem for me. But like, let's say if my mom comes over and tastes this, uh, it would not be good. Um, I don't think it would be a good idea <laughs> to give this to my mom, but for me it's fine. Uh, but like, maybe not when my mom comes over, you know. Alfie, I'm impressed. It looks good. Really? You think so? I mean, I followed a Korean recipe, so I think like I could have shopped the um, I could have shopped the radish better, right? But I think, other than that, I don't really have any complaints, you know? So... I'm just gonna push this up on the lid so that it can ferment. The gases can escape. So you can see here, this is a the fermentation lid, right? So you can push down and up so the gases can escape. And then you just close it, and then I'm gonna leave this to ferment, you know, ferment ma. And then the juices are gonna start coming up, and it will taste like actual kimchi. Yeah. So yeah, so this is a, this is a fermentation jar, like I said, and I recommend that you guys use one if you make kimchi. Because if you don't, your entire fridge will smell like kimchi. And I mean, uh, some pe people might not mind that, but uh, personally, I do mind that. So, yeah. It looks like a Nintendo controller. That's funny. It kind of does. But yeah, I think um, we could have made more kimchi, but I think this is a good amount. It's uh, almost an entire jar, and uh, because of the amount of radish, the fluid would, will accumulate. And it will be covered in fluid, basically. So, and then it will get nice and crunchy and fermented, you know. Yeah, make sure that it's not airtight if you're doing fermented stuff because the glass can literally, like the gas can accumulate to the point where it explodes. I, I know, I've seen that happen, like not for myself, but um, I've seen pictures of like people making kombucha online and they don't open the taps and then it fucking <laughs> explode, ma. Cornbread, it looks like real Korean. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, a Korean came in and said it looks good. I am going to take that as a good job moment. Yay. 
The Korean said it looks good. Two Koreans said it looks good. So I, I take the compliment. Thank you. Molly. Heart ma. Heart ma. Yippee. 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 I'm now, I mean, people also, different people leave it out to ferment for a different amount of days. I usually leave mine out for two days. And some people leave it out an entire week. I think that's a bit extreme. Like, personally, I think that's too much. It looks good. Okay, free Korean said good. Yay! Yippee! <laughs> How do I say it? Thank you. Is it Kamsang uh, Hamida? Kamsang Hamida, right? Will you be making some kombucha? Uh, I have already made kombucha in the past. I had I made kombucha for about six months. Uh, but I got kind of tired of it. Um, you know, I got kind of tired of it, so uh, I stopped doing it. But I used to make all kinds of kombucha. I made raspberry, strawberry, lemon, all kinds of kombucha. Uh, lime kombucha once. You know, I don't think it's surprising to anyone that I made kombucha. Like, when I say that to people, they're like, yeah, that's not surprising. You know, I just like doing things like fermented stuff. And I, I like that kind of thing. You know, I think it's fun. Yes, yes. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. I, I will maybe one day make mead on stream because I think it would be fun. Uh, I made I made uh, I made uh, mead once, but it got infected by wild yeast, and I had to throw it out. Very unfortunate. I think that I didn't sanitize any everything enough, and that's my own fault. I mean, I was inexperienced. Um, so yeah, it's sad because I spent like sixty dollars on honey, and it's all wasted. You know, goodbye, my money. Goodbye. Like sixty dollars in like four months of waiting, fucking down the toilet. You know, flushma. You know. Yeah, but it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna show Twitter. Oh my god. Have you guys seen the pictures that uh, Kawa gives? Uh, like, have you guys seen? I'm gonna show you. Look at the pictures Kawa sends with orders. Like, if you buy merch, you can sometimes get stuff like this. Isn't it cute? It's me and Lambo and me and Freddus. Fredde Nötterson. Lumi Finlandson. Yes? Very cute. I'm so happy. I have all of Astralan on my fridge. I probably look like a turbo-obsessed fan. I'm not even joking. I have like five postcards of Astraline on my fridge. I probably look like an insane simp building a shrine in my kitchen. You know? Ironically, I probably look insane. Yeah, I think it's five. Let me count. One, two, three, four. It's actually six. Never mind. It's six. That's so sweet. But for me, I put Astralan on my fridge because like uh, I mean Astralan changed my life so much streaming changed my life and uh, without like meeting Lumi and Mary my life wouldn't be like nearly as good as it is now and then I met Fred and Nick as well and they are like you know among my best friends now and I love them so much you know so I don't know just seeing them Seeing them every day is makes me happy, you know? Yeah. I think surrounding yourself with things that make you happy is important. You know? God, that noise was so suspicious. It was my skirt, guys. <laughs> uh, will I get one with my patches? I don't think so. Hmm. So, yeah, surround yourself with things that make you happy, like granny carpet. You know, okay, let's switch, uh, switch to my bedroom again, guys, because we're done now. We have completed our mission. We have completed our mission now. Okay. We're back now. Okay. 
I'm happy like four Koreans said I did a good job. That makes me feel relieved. I'm not gonna get the angry Koreans after me. They're not gonna find me in a dark alleyway and be like, Bitch, what have you done? You know? Yeah. I'm happy. Okay. No fermenting live action. Uh, I think like probably some people have done like a fermentation time lapse camera, probably. Mm. Yeah. I have some Korean fan is gonna break my knees in a dark alleyway for disrespecting kimchi. No, I don't think so. Where is the keyboard cable? Mother of ass. Doko? Oh my god. It's under the table. How did it get there? I have so many questions. What did I do? Wait, how do I how do I get the cable? It's like behind the fucking it's behind everything. No, oh my god, this is such a problem right now. This is such a problem right now. Wait, where is it? I can't see it. Oh my god. No. It needs to go up. Go up, go up, go up. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, why do I do this to myself? I need to move my tripod. There it is. Okay, I have sold it. I have sold it. I have sold it. I found it. There we go. Okay. I got the cab keyboard cable, guys. Sorry, I had to crawl behind my table and find the keyboard cable because somehow it had like crawled backwards behind my desk. And I, I don't even know what happened, you know? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Rabbit ate it? I don't think so. But I'm glad you guys like the kimchi. It makes me happy. Makes me happy. I was so tired today. I was like, God, am I even going to be able to make this? You know? Uh, but I'm happy I did. It's worth it. Kimchi is so tasty. And it's like a reward. It's like a reward, you know? But it's worth it. And next week, fun fact, we're playing Left 4 Dead. But I'm gonna make everything in the entire game related to Miku with mods. I'm gonna replace everything I can with Miku. We are doing the Mi Mikufication of Left 4 Dead. The mikufication becomes like becomes realized next week. It's gonna be so fucking funny. It's gonna be based. Good job, Alfma. Did you really think so, Dingus? Thank you. I appreciate it. Hmm. Yes. I'm happy. I guess I can shut off the mic now, the journalist mic. Have you been lurking, Dingus? Lurk my Dingus? Miku. I love Miku. Did you guys see the Miku drama on Twitter? That they're using like a 
a huge LED screen instead of the glass slash uh, plastic. Mm, a screen. I don't know, man. As a hardcore Mika fan, as a hardcore Miku fan, I feel kind of like offended. Because like, I really want to go to the Berlin Miku Expo. I've been looking at the ticket and I want to go. Uh, but if 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 they use the LED screen in Berlin, I will feel a giga scammed. I will feel I will feel giga giga scammed, you know? Uh Yeah, I'm going to I don't know, man. So I'm kind of scared right now. Uh of buying uh, tickets. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, that's the entire point, that, the, like, it feels real, like, or, like, looks real, you know? Mm. I don't know, so I don't know if I'm gonna be going, if it's gonna be just an LED screen, because I want the real Miku experience. I wanted to go to a Miku concert since I was a, a teenager. I remember seeing the Miku concerts on YouTube. Uh, when I was a teenager, and and um, I really, really wanted to go, you know, really, really like it was my dream to go to a Mika concert. Yeah, man, I can't even describe how much it fucking means to me, man. I know it sounds stupid, and I know Miku isn't real, but bro, Miku was there for me in my darkest times. Like, Miku was always there for me, man. Yeah. Yeah, Miku helped me so much, man. Yeah, Miku, love I love Miku. <laughs> yeah. Uh when will when will you go to Miku concert? I probably go to the one in Berlin because um it's the easiest for me because then I can just take a di direct train. I and yes, I will be taking a train instead of flying because I just think it's more comfortable. And also, it's better for the environment. So you know, if you can take train, I think you should. I think I think it's in November, right? I don't remember the exact date, but I think it's in November. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I wanna. He quiz a tulpa. That is so funny. Sorry, that caught me so off guard. <laughs> that caught me so off guard. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> it was so random. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like taking trains. Uh, it's comfy. I don't need to stress about the fucking airport security or coming two hours early or whatever bing bong shit you need to do at an airport, you know? I, I don't like airports. Does anyone actually like airports? I don't think so. You know, I'm I'm not going into to fly it, like until a month from now, but I'm already thinking about my connection at LAX and having nightmares about it. Because I don't trust LAX as an airport, as a as a fucking I don't trust it at all. You know? Yeah, I'm terrified. But train stations? Train stations? Giga, giga comfy, giga based. I love train stations. They're beautiful, they're pretty. They're, uh, they're so comfy. Comfy ma. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know man. Giga, giga comfy. Sorry Alfie, no liquids over 3 ounces on the plane, you have to dump your lager. Okay, listen here, King. Why the fuck would I be drinking lager in the first place? I don't like lager. I'm a Pilsner enjoyer, I'll have you know. I'm a true certified Pilsner enjoyer, Lambic enjoyer. I don't I don't fuck with lager. No. I don't want lager. Don't give it to me. Keep it away from me. Really? Ipa? Ipa is okay. I can drink Ipa. Ipa is okay. Depending on the Ipa, I think. I don't know. But lager? No. Pilsner? Giga. I love, I love Pilsner. 
I still have vivid memories of a pilsner I had in Old Town in Warsaw with uh, my family. So like, I don't speak very good Polish. I only know like, I don't know, man, 10 or 20 words. So I accidentally ordered an enormous beer instead of a small one. Uh, but of course, it's beer. So like, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to waste it. So I drank it all in one, like I drank it all, bro. I didn't leave anything. So it was this enormous glass of beer and I ended up like tipsy for like several hours, you know, because of that. So we, we fucking went around looking at museums and I kept like, I don't, I kept like, I was so tipsy. I just kept laughing at stuff. I don't know. I kept laughing at these art, like paintings, you know? Giga Pivo, yeah, Giga. And ironically, wife material. I love beer, you know? There's nothing better than beer and like a good meal, like some meat. I want some meat with my beer, you know? That's so based. Oh, I think like. Another nice, almost religious experience I had was when I was at a Georgian restaurant in uh, Krakow and I was drinking beer and eating Georgian food and holy shit. Holy shit, man. I, I see God. It was so good. It was so nice and delicious and I don't know, it was just paired, paired perfectly with the meal, you know? Holy shit. Counting down the top 10 drunk kill the moments. I almost want to share with you. I was going through my old photos on my phone and I found videos of me recording Ghost at Sweden Rock last year. And you can hear me screaming, white woman drunk. <laughs> like, you can hear me screaming like a crazy white woman on the video. <laughs> and I almost want to show you guys. Because <laughs> it's so fucking funny. To me, I think I'm gonna post it. I wanna post it on Discord because it's so fucking funny. Perhaps just the audio. Oh, you can't see me. You can just see the band. Uh, you can't see my face, ob obviously. It's just the band. Mm. Yeah. But you can hear me. I'm going crazy. I'm screaming like an idiot. I'm like, wow! <laughs> But it was crazy. I was so happy when I was watching Ghost. But I got a little bit too drunk and I fell over. And then I tried snooze for the first time in my life. I don't need to elaborate. The Swedish people will know what happened. Don't try snooze. Uh, please don't. It's not good for... <laughs> the Swedish people will know exactly what happened afterwards. Yeah. I'm not gonna love it. Don't try... A snooski is okay to try. As long as it's consensual and... and um, you know, safe. Then uh, you can try a snooski. But the snooze... No, not snooze. Don't try the snooze. Mm. Where is the snooze sign? Where did it go? I don't... I can't see the snooze sign. No, not in the chat, idiots. What the fuck? That's not what I'm talking about. I found some nice pictures from my Poland trip, though. Like, look at these guys. Look at this. Krakow, ma. Wall. Painting, ma. Very nice, very nice. And this was like a fucking uh, grandma, grandma restaurant, you know? Little pierogi moment. It's very delicioso. I really like it. It was nice. Very epic gaming, for sure. And this is a picture I took in, in Stockholm. 
I, I, I'm quite happy with this picture. You know, I don't know. I think I did a good job with this one. Looks nice, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was going through my phone, like I said, and I saved some pictures um, from my different trips and stuff like that. Yeah, this is... Uh, when was this? Last year in... I don't know when, but yeah. And this was a picture I took... Uh, this is from, like, my home area. This is kind of what, like, the coast looks like, where I come from. I, 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 I don't know. Seeing images like this makes me think of home. You know? This kind of coastline uh, this is the like um, Baltic Sea Baltic Sea but yeah it's very comfy I like it and um, one of the people like one of the family friends we lived it at he had a sailboat but he was drunk all the time so I refused to go on the sailboat I was like, no, I don't trust you as a driver of your boat. Because he was too drunk all the time. I like, refused. Mm. Yeah. And this was in Fransma. Fransma. This was nice. I like it. I have many nice pictures that I haven't shown you. I also have video, many video I haven't shown you. Vlogs that never happened. I really want to make vlogs out of the footage that I have. I still have footage from Italy and footage from like my Europe trip, but like nothing happened to it. At this point, I don't know. I want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Um. I think I have like um, an edited version that Marvin gave me of my Europe trip video. I don't know if I've shown you guys that, but it's like very scuff. I, I wasn't happy with the vlog, basically. I wasn't happy with it. Um, I can show you guys now if you want. But I'm probably gonna turn the audio off because I was not happy with my voiceover at all. How do I show it to you guys? The, the footage quality is not very good. But we can try. Okay. Okay, let's look at it though. I want to show you guys, because I don't think you guys have seen this at all. My vacation movie stuff. Let me mute it. Because like, I wasn't happy with my voiceover at all. But you, you can see the... Uniforma. And this old man. It's a man. And this is the... I don't know. This was the... What the fuck? Uh, Prince Museum in... Uh, in uh, Krakow, I think. Like, it's called the Princess Museum, I think. And they have many uniforms. And stuff like that. It was quite nice. You know? And they have painting of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, Katosh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. And this one, they have many silver, ma. Many silver, ma. Yeah, they have da Vinci painting here in this museum. It's a, a girl holding a little rat creature, you know? Yeah, this is Poland, yes. Poland. Thank you so much. Thank you for complimenting my voice and model. That means a lot. Thank you. 
Yeah, and this is painting ma. Painting ma. Ah, it was a very big painting ma. Actually, I learned a lot of paintings in this museum are copies, apparently. You know. And these are like morning uh, jewelry, so like people would p cut off pieces of hair. Sometimes of people who were alive to like remember them when they were away. And sometimes if someone passed away, you would save their hair as like a keepsake, you know? Yeah. Yeah, my mini weapon. I film a lot of weapons when I go to museums like this because I like swords. I like, I, f I like it. I like it, yeah. I like I like looking at weapons at museum. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit weird. This was big Jesus ma. Big cross ma. Jesus ma. And do you take Hima? No, I've never tried Hima. We have a couple of viewers who do it though. Like there's a few viewers who do Hima. Hima. Uh, old people, like. I don't know, but a lot of religious motifs because it's Poland. And there's always gonna be a bunch of church art everywhere in museums. A lot of Jesus and stuff, you know? Do be like that. Yeah. It was nice, ma. Yeah. Yeah, this is Poland, ma. Yeah. Last year. Okay, yeah, here I touch ma. This one was winged hussar wing, but you could touch it. You could touch ma. Like, it was meant to be touched. Yeah, you can touch this. It was very nice to touch ma. I like it. Very nice as well. Very accessible for people who maybe have impaired vision. Or if you want like the sensory experience. I like it. This museum was very inclusive. <laughs> they got that Europe money. <laughs> Europe funding. <laughs> you know? Because it was very accessible. Yeah. For sure. They even had a quiet room in case uh, like you are autistic and you need somewhere to go away where, like from all the people. Uh, which I thought was very cool. Very nice to see. I think more museums should have that. Yeah, this museum is super inclusive. If you, like... I don't know, if you're disabled, you want to go to a nice museum in Krakow, I recommend this place. They also have elevators, like, everywhere. Very base place. Yeah, very cool. Uh, this was some, uh, like, metal. Medalma. And oh, this chessboard was super cool. I really like this one. This was very nice. Ma. And yeah, once again, I filmed the like swords because I, I think they're cool. You know? I filmed this. And yeah, this probably will be edited and put on my YouTube eventually. But like, I don't know. It just got stuck in limbo, I guess. Good stuff. Yeah, this was very cool. I like this. Like that, there was like a. How do I explain? You could see the like nice architecture. Ma. I like this. It was very nice. Yeah, and the museum staff didn't give a shit that I filmed, which was nice because sometimes at museum you get yelled at. There's one piece of footage where I have. From Italy, where one of the assistants starts screaming at me, but it's the last room, so I already filmed everything, so she can go poo poo herself. To be honest, I don't really understand not being able to film in museums. I understand if there's a lot of people, uh, and I also understand not using flash because not you like using flash is damaging to the item. So like, if there's a lot of people, probably you shouldn't film. And also don't use flash, obviously, right? But other than that, like, I don't fucking get when museums are like, don't film, don't film. I'm like, what? Why not? I paid like a lot of money to come in here. Maybe I want to show my homies who can't travel all this way, huh? Like, maybe I want to show other people who don't have the privilege of traveling because it's expensive, bitch. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you're autistic, sometimes you need places to calm down. And this museum had that, so it's awesome. Never seen that before at the museum, ma. Huh? And apparently, fun fact, uh, this very cool fact, this room this that all these artifacts were in were apparently used uh, by the Polish resistance during World War II for secret meeting, ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had secret meeting, ma, in this room, which is very cool. That's a lot of history. A mm. lot of history. Yeah. And then they had a room with, like, Egyptian stuff, which I didn't really understand because, I don't know, it's Poland. And I didn't understand why they had a bunch of Egyptian stuff. And now this is the train to Czechia. This train was very fun. I really liked the experience here. Um, it was nice, actually. Uh, it took six hours. It cost like $25. Uh, but there was no toilet paper, Sag. And also no electricity. But there was an old woman selling it candy so that was pretty good yeah this is Czechia I was only here for a day and it was really warm I think it was 35 celsius so my fucking I was sweating so bad I was giga sweating like moist moist as hell you can literally see how warm it is like in this footage you can see people are like fuck my life like if you look at people's faces on the, during the on, on this footage you can see if people are like oh my god kill me man kill me you know um yeah uh, but this was quite nice i have to film uh, like um quite high up here because there were so many people everywhere yeah, and this is some kind of monument, ma. This is a uh, Prague. This building was cool. I like it. I like this building. Very cool building. Yeah, and this was like a... I like that this building is so old and it was a fucking Thai massage place. So funny. I fucking laughed when I saw that, you know. And I filmed the train because... The tram because I like the tram. I like it. It suits me. Mike's in Prague. I know. I wish I could have met him. But I don't think I, he would have hated me, probably. Like, I, I would have talked the entire time. Like, I would have been like, did you know? And he would be like, oh my god. Someone make this woman silence, you know. Yeah. This is Bridgma. This is a famous Bridgma. Fun fact, most of those statues that are on this bridge are copies of old ones because they got replaced or stolen and shit. Also, Sweden, during like the, uh, when we had some uh, little fun in the 1600s in Prague, uh, we stole a lot of statues from them. And now they are like in fountains outside our castles and stuff. So yeah, we also stole a lot of books from them. So we have a lot of their books, but they don't really want it back because it's so long ago. They don't really care that I think I don't think they give a shit anymore. You know. Yeah, I poked them the castle. Yeah. Poke poke. I, I remember I was standing filming this and I I was like, God, it's so warm. I cannot deal with this. Like you can see how warm it is, yeah. It was 35 Celsius, I think. Moist as hell. Yeah, very moistus. You know? Moist ma. 35, 35 Celsius. Oh yeah, I climbed up here to take this footage ma. And I was so warm, oh my god. It's, there's so many steps. I It was worth it, but oh my god, bro. Fucking sweat ma. And then I went to the castle. And uh... They had the armor suits with the penis. Penis. <laughs> Protector. <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. And uh, um, inside here shirt was uh, very nice. I think I filmed the, the, the 
like suits of armor with the penis. You will see soon, I think. Yeah, you will see, you will see, okay? Just be patient and you will see. But yeah, this cathedral was kind of... It was nice, but... Um, I don't know, man. I've seen better. Uh, this was designed by Alphonse Mucha, so this was nice. I wanted to say he's my favorite artist, so this was cool. I like this window. It was based. But the rest of the church, uh, I don't know. I've seen better, so I was like not that impressed, I guess. But I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to churches because I've seen so many that are so extravagant that now I'm very hard to impress. I'm very hard to impress when it comes to churches, you know. But it's a, it's a nice church. It's like a classic gothic church with gla uh, like glass stained windows. It's pretty pog, I guess, you know. Um, yeah. And you had to pay to enter as well. A lot of uh, churches in Czechia you have to pay because, I don't know, they need money to restore the church, I guess. This was inside the castle. And in here there were like two American tourists that kept talking giga loud and, and like... Um, being annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah. This was nice, this like furnace thing. This was nice. Oh yeah, here's the like penis armor. Yeah, yeah. This was uh, cool. Imagine like shooting an arrow out of this window, bro. That would have been cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the suits of armor. Yeah. This was so cool. They had a lot of armor, ma. And they were playing like medieval music, blasting it, you know? So it's pretty funny, you know? Lots of helmets and stuff too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the suits of armor. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance in real life, you know? Very, very like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I need to find a man who wears a suit of armor. You know, if a man ever proposes to me, I need a full knight moment. <laughs> Am I too demanding? I don't know. Like, I think I should set the goal high. I think I should set the the. I don't know, man. I think I should uh, put the bar high. I think so. Like, I need a suit of armor, like horse moment. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad news, I've written that down. This was France. France was... I don't know. It was okay, yeah, I think. It was, some, it, was, it was okay. France was okay. Uh, it was very warm when I was in France too. It was very warm. Um... Get a man that will storm a battlement for you. Yeah. And this is the fr this is Strasbourg. It was pretty. Uh, it was nice. And here a little bumbel bee uh, eating the nectar. Yeah, he's slurping. You know. No 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 no. He's eating. Let him eat. Yeah, this was Colmar. And I like this one more than Strasbourg. I like Colmar more than Strasbourg because there was less tourists. Uh, it was there were like barely any tourists here, and it was prettier. Like this place was better than Strasbourg. You can see, yeah, it was twenty like twenty five degrees, and I, this is like some techno shit, like boom, 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 blasting. I don't know. I don't know why in Europe, like rest of Europe, they have these pharmacy signs that go fucking crazy, man. This is some crazy techno shit, you know? Yeah. This was some kind of courthouse, I think. And this is some kind of tower that was... I don't know what. I think it was built in memory of something or something. I don't know, I remember. But yeah, the buildings here were a lot prettier than... In Salzburg, I like yeah, Oblivion Town. I know. Apparently, this is the town that the town in uh, Beauty and the Beast, like Disney's Beauty and the Beast, was based on. Like this is the specific town that the art, uh, um, like the art direction team was basing it on. Is this called my? Yeah, this is called my. Yeah, 
I really liked it. I also bought some cookies here for Mary. And uh, some candy for Lumi. Because I was meeting them after this at the Düssel in Düsseldorf at Tokomi. Do people live here? Yes, but apparently there is a a lot a high unemployment rate in this region because there's not a lot of jobs apparently. I learned. Also, apparently Kolmar was occupied by Sweden, which was kind of weird. At one point, a bunch of Swedish soldiers occupied this entire town. I, I don't know why we did that. I, I have no idea, but apparently that happened. It was just like a fucking tidbit on Wikipedia and no elaboration whatsoever. You know? I don't know what happened. But uh, apparently it happened. Yeah. And I, I have to say guys, the antique stores in this town went crazy hard. There were so much cool shit in the antique stores. There were so many like religious icons, old cool things, a lot of World War I stuff. Like, damn, it went hard as hell. If I had had more luggage space and more money, I would have gone crazy in the, in the stores here, in the antique stores. I don't know. Yeah, the antique stores in this place went crazy hard. Really recommend if you go to Colmar to go into the antique stores because wow. Might have been like the best antique stores I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. So many nice jewelry as well. And uh, I don't know, like a lot of cool stuff in general. Nice furniture too, but it's not like I can fucking grab it from France. You know, that would be difficult. Yeah. It was so nice. So this is the one that's like based on Beauty and the Beast, ma. You know, when she's singing in the square, this is the, like, what this based on. Yeah. And there was one dude playing the Godfather team over and over again. Yeah, there he is. He was playing it over and over again. I, I don't know if he even knew other any other song. Like, maybe he just knew one song. I don't know, man. Yeah, he was playing the accordion Godfather theme over and over, man. But yeah, I like Colmar. There was not many tourists. It was nice. It was calm. It was really warm, though. I think it was like 28 Celsius or something like that. Big sweat, man. Big sweatus. There was also a castle near this region that I wanted to go to, but I didn't have time. Because it was like in the fucking hills. And uh, I didn't have enough time. But maybe I'll go back someday and I can, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this was like the view kind of from the train. And at one point the train almost got evacuated because there was a person who didn't bring their um the they didn't like they left their backpack on the train and in france if that happens they have to evacuate the entire train because of security reasons and that almost happened I, it didn't happen though but i, I was kind of like where i want to go back to my hotel room my feet hurt you know you're burning the part of my soul that wants to travel, but I like the financial stability. It's really, you know, in Europe it's easier to travel. This trip didn't really cost me much at all. You know? Uh, like, you guys saw the train I took earlier. It was six hours from Poland to Czechia. It costed me $25. And then from Czechia to France, I took a bus. Uh, that was 13 hours and it costed $35. Um, so really, I didn't really spend that much money, to be honest. I think I spent the much money on, mo most money on food. Uh, food, m food was the most expensive on this trip, especially uh, in France. Because I was in a tourist heavy area and it was quite expensive. Expensive, ma. Yeah, this is Berlin Wall, ma. 
This is Berlin Wall. It was cool to see in real life. Um, rat. Rat. I think there's me and Lumi talking in this section. Yeah, here they explain how they divided the wall and that there was security in between and stuff like that in guards. Yeah. Germany is so big, everything's big. Big, yeah. big. Look big. At this. this is big. Big. Rat boats. Rat boats. Rat boats. I wanna go on the rat boat. <laughs> I wanna go on the rat boat. Lumi was, by the way, you can hear the entire like part where Lumi is in my vlog. She is coughing like crazy because she had a really bad cold and she also infected me with the ligma so like when i was going home i got super sick from lumi coughing on my face it's okay i still love her though yeah lumi gave me a cold so you can hear her coughing you see that's gay, yeah guys that's gay that's gay that's gay that's gay very cool i'm done like here we're gonna pass through the yeah this was crazy and fight some demon probably hey look at the fresh it's fucking oh. cursed man oh that's cursed he's he's demonic he's crying oh jesus christ <clears throat> yeah this was the big church ma big church ma this was okay like i i don't know it was okay church yeah, it looks like a, this looks like a Dark Souls boss area, bro. She it, loves dinosaurs. Like, it's her biggest... Like, she fucking loves dinosaurs. <laughs> I think I was yeah. talking about my best friend here. Oh yeah, you can hear Lumi coughing. She has ligma in this video. Yeah. This was at the... Um, DDR Museum. Banane? Banan. We were saying that this is Nivea cream, but yeah. like in a different packaging. It looks like Nivea. It's boot like Nivea cream, bro. I don't know what the text said. Yeah, East German yeah, Museum. Got some rhubarbus drink. Rhubarbus. Citronkuchen and the DR French. Oh. Maybe they, they kiss. They <laughs> Maybe they do kissing. Kissing. Wow, yeah. Kissing. Yum yum. Kissing. Lots of different shimans. I think, and I don't know if they had a Trabant, but they had a Volvo because apparently the elite, like politicians in East Germany had Volvos because, I don't know, it was viewed as fancy or something. So they had a Volvo in the museum. I don't, it was kind of weird. But they explained that the elite really liked Volvo cars. This was many. Uh, these are called wet specimen, wet specimen, right? So scientists will look at these to preserve them, like and research different species. These are fish in jars and like snakes, uh, preserved in alcohol. This was in the Nature History Museum. It was really cool. Me and Lumi really like it. It's so creepy. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> He's staring at me. Mm. He's staring at me. It was very creepy. And this is chicken. And that is big T Rex ma. Big. And bird ma. Mm. Big snouter. Big snoot. Big snooter. He can. Me. That's me. I don't know why I say that. I don't know what this has this to. This is an emu. Emu. Bird. Bird. Emu bird. Yeah. Look, he looks like a little, little bit like an asshole. To be honest with you. <laughs> he looks like an asshole. I mean, I like this one. Mm. This one. This one. 
and the kiwi. Oh, cute. Look at him. My child. He's my child. A mini bug specimen. Mm. What the hell is that? Yeah, what, what the fuck that? is that? That kangaroo is so buff, buff bro. What the fuck? It's tanuki? Big ratatouille? I don't know. Ratatouille? Forget. Fun fact, the memory card that had all this footage on it is fucking gone. Like the memory card that I had all that footage on, gone. I don't know where it is. So, a bit strongest to be honest. I, I might have it somewhere on my PC, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I hope so. Um, we can only hope. I do also think that it's on my Google Drive, to be honest. So I don't think it's lost forever. I also think Marvin has it, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea where that memory card is. It's lost forever. I don't know. Uh, it's like it like disappeared when I was uh, moving, you know. Oh no, I do have it here on my PC. Thank God, it's all here. Okay, no, I, I apparently have saved it. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> but there's some footage that I took like in Poland that's like gone forever now, which I'm kind of sad about, you know. But it is what it is. You know, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. Isn't this a Zelda soundtrack? Zelda soundtrack, man? Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, now I showed you guys this uh, vlog footage. I hope that uh, it can be made into an actual vlog and put on YouTube. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think it got like stuck in limbo like before I joined Astroline and then like I guess I haven't done anything with it yeah good memories yeah okay I think my iPhone died yeah it's dead now oh no ah I think that's a sign that we should end stream perhaps okay <laughs> yep that's a good call to end stream She's sleepy, just like me. Okay. Well, we did our kimchi. And, um... Uh... We... I showed you guys some... Vacation stuff. And, um... Uh, yeah. Like I said, next time... Next week, we're gonna do... Left 4 Dead... Uh... Mikification stream. The Mikification. And then, uh... Next week, I have the schedule here. I've already made it, guys. I can show you. I've already gotten my schedule made. Okay. I'm gonna show you all. So, this is the schedule for next week. Uh, tomorrow is my day off, as usual. I usually don't stream on Mondays. And then. Uh, on Tuesday we're gonna do karaoke which I'm very scared about because I'm I'm very shy when I sing and I don't know I I don't particularly feel like I'm the best singer but it's a donophone goal so I need to do it I don't have a choice <laughs> you guys are forcing me but like, it's okay uh, and then Wednesday time off uh, first day uh, I don't know why but I have had severe cravings to do like a long stream where I just play Civilization for like six hours. 
and uh, become a fucking goblin, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I do, guys. I have had cravings. I've had cravings. I've had cravings, man. So we're gonna play Civ 6 for like six hours, uh, drink Pepsi and eat chips, and that's gonna, and I'm gonna talk shit the entire time. So it's gonna be a gigabest and uh, very nice. And then on Friday, we have a content warning stream with Astronine. Uh, it's Astronine collab. It's 8. Oh shit, she put the time at 8 p.m. It's supposed to be 8 a.m. Okay, that is gonna have to get corrected. Okay, it's not 8 p.m., it's 8 a.m. 8 in the morning. It's early because, um, well, everyone in Astraline lives in different time zones and we need to accommodate each other basically. Uh, and Sunday is the Left 4 Dead Meekification stream. Uh, it's gonna be super awesome. I'm basically gonna mod everything I can in the game to be related to Miku. Uh, so this week is kind of interesting. There's a lot of things happening this week, you know, for sure. Sort of, and I, I honestly, the Civ 6 stream is just mostly for myself because like, I don't know, I just have had cravings to play a lot of uh, strategy. I don't know, I need to play strategy games. I haven't been doing that in a while. And I I even considered playing Hoi, guys. But I, I don't remember how to play Hoi anymore. So that would have been super awkward. I think I need to play it off stream a bit so I can catch up a bit. Um, yeah. It would be fun to play Hoi a bit, you know. Yeah. Hoi Sweden run when? Sweden Empire moment. Okay. Uh, we're gonna raid the dog. I don't know what he's doing right now. Uh, sleeping maybe? Yeah, he's sleeping. Okay, maybe not dog then. Chat. Just click the link. Uh... We can raid. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get upgrade. Okay, let's raid Lumi. The other Lumi. She's doing a long stream. Yeah, there's another Lumi. Okay. Let's raid the yellow Lumi. Or Lemon Woman, as she is also called sometimes. Okay. Thank you so much for watching me and my kimchi, guys. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Um, remember to support Mary uh, when he wakes up. Um, and uh, please look forward to the streams next week. Okay? I'm really excited. It's gonna be really fun. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. I love you all so much. Thank you for being in my life. Remember to take care of yourself, okay? Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. 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 Love you.